Hello. Oh my goodness. Hello. Hi. Um Yeah, audibles have been called and part of me is like really nervous to see how this is going to go. Uh <laughs> I I wasn't really like in the mood to do TTYD today. You know, it's my favorite game of all time. I was like, I just wasn't feeling it today. So, I'm calling the audible and this may be a very strange audible. <laughs> because why am I doing this to myself? Why am I doing this? Can someone please explain to me why I'm doing this? <laughs> now, I didn't test a damn thing. So, uh, but yeah. The intro cutscene from Mario Party 5 is just... It shows us random things on a different board each time. Which is kind of dumb, in my opinion. It's kind of dumb. But hey, it's Mario Party 5. Let's press start and see how this goes. <laughs> that is kind of loud on my TV. Uh, yeah, hey, um, April 5th, 2023 was, uh, was the first and only time I played the Mario Party 5 on stream. There we go. Uh, would you- I would like to play, please. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, I I cleaned my disc pretty well. Hopefully, I don't know how everything is going to go. And uh, we recently played Paper Mario 64, uh, so these guys should look kind of familiar to you because they are the Star Spirits. Uh, I want to know about party mode. <laughs> as much as I don't want to, <laughs> as much as I don't want to, I gotta do it. I say I got to, but we'll we'll see how it goes. Party mode, Eld Star, I'll be your guide. Uh, I didn't know. I want a new game. I want the old one to be overwritten. I don't care about that one. I don't need to hear the rules of Mario Party 5. I know them very well. Uh, Battle Royal. It's just me, use. Um, we got some new characters here. Um, if you notice, DK is not playable in Mario Party 5, which I think is dumb. Why they removed DK as a playable character, I have no idea. But we got three new characters added. We have Toad, Boo, and... Koopa Kid, I believe he's called Koopa Kid here. But we're just gonna get started. We're gonna go the hard AI, much to my dismay. And, uh, let's see, how many, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's seven boards? I thought there were six! Oh, jeez. Most boards have six. Most boards, more, most Mario Parties have, like, six boards. Why does this one have seven? Why? Why? Why do this? And as per my gauntlet run, 50 turns, all mini games, bonuses on, no handicaps. I guess these settings are okay. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Now, again, why am I doing this to myself? I have zero idea. I have zero idea. I guess I just wanted to torture myself today. <laughs> or maybe I'm like secretly hoping that Mario Party 5 breaks on me and I can do something else. You know what? That checks out. <laughs> Rolling a one checks out for me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, here we are. Uh, hopefully everyone's having a good day. Uh, again, yesterday uh, there was no stream because my daughter had a doctor's appointment yesterday, which... That was, a uh, something in and of itself. Uh, where's Donkey Kong now? So DK is a board event. Yeah, DK became a board event. He got downgraded. I think it's a downgrade. Even though, like, DK helps out, you know. But, like, Mario Party 5, eh. <sighs> yeah, maybe I'm secretly hoping for the game to break. And so I can do something else. 
<laughs> maybe that's maybe that's my thinking. Maybe, maybe. So, uh, Mercury 5, um, implemented some changes. There's these capsule machines that you pass by them, you get stuff for free. Now, um, when you get to use these capsules, you can either pay the price to use it on yourself, or you can just throw it onto a space, and it'll just be a cool space. So, there's that. So, uh, Toy Dream. It's toys. There you go. That, that's all you need to know. It's technically the first board of all of this, so that's why we're doing this first. Uh, hey, yeah, sure. I'll take a capsule. Why not? Pair trip a capsule. Uh, I think that takes you to a player spot, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> I don't care much about Mario Party 5, but here we are. Uh, as per my gauntlet run rules... Triple jump! I think I have minigame explanations on? Yeah, alright. Uh, use your athletic abilities to perform a triple jump. Whoever jumps farthest wins. Temperature of button appears on the screen. Increased distance of jump. Uh, button you need to tap changes during the event. Um, it's just ABA. I will tell you that now, it's just ABA. <laughs> Uh, hello, DA. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. I am stretching because half of the mini games in Mario Party 5 are mash A and the other half are mash B. So we're going to be doing a lot of button mashing. I mean, no, not literally, but there are a lot of mashing games in Mario Party 5. Uh, Mario Party 5, we just got started. Literally just got started. So, uh, I do believe I'm going last, because it goes by turn order. Start. Uh, also keep in mind, records are used with turbo controllers. So this, uh, haha, <laughs> 143, um... Yeah, this, this 143 was set by a turbo controller. So, keep in mind. Like, any minigame records that have button mashing on the GameCube are set with turbo controller. How's pasta? Ah, it's okay. <laughs> It's I. All right, let's do this. All right, here goes. Ha! Suck it, Mario. Thank you for the hydrant and the posture check sausage. Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Uh, oh, jeez. Yeah, the mini games in Mario Party 5, not bad. I love the mini games in Mario Party 5. They're actually really good. Like, again, I can sit and play, like, mini game mode, like, all day long in Mario Party 5. I just don't like the boards, but here we are. Also, another thing, uh, the difference in difficulty between the hard AI and the normal AI is like ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous because I have had moments where I have like raged so hard against the hard AI in Mario Party 5 and I did like a 20 turn board with like normal AI and they were like absolutely stupid. So it's uh, it was something. Oh, Mario Party vs. Tess, who and find the next time? Tessa Jane Z. I mean. I don't even know what the what the what the record is between us, because the game disc decided it didn't want to play nice the last time we tried this. Over a year ago. So but here we are. I promised I'd give it a legitimate shot when we got this far in our gauntlet run. And we are doing 50 turns. Because last time I tried to play it just to play it, I'm like, I'm doing 20 turns because I want to get through this as fast as possible. But I did say, give it a legitimate shot <laughs> and 50 turns. So here we are. I have never... Ooh! Thank you so much for the sub! Thank you, thank you! Thank you so much, right, Mario Party 5? I know. I know. Oh, we get a game. Uh, There we go. 
Wow, if I can type, that'd be great. There we go, add you to the art raffle. All right. All right, uh, mass appeal. Collect as many bananas as you can, avoid the peels. Uh, large bananas five, the regulars one. There you go, it's pretty standard. Uh, we get these DK mini games. Uh, you get a banana, you get coins. That's pretty much it. Oop. Oh, I hit a. Uh, what do you mean I. There's one there! Give me! No! I want it. Oh, I almost had it. I almost had it. Come on, people. Come on! Yeah, yesterday, uh, there was no stream because my daughter had a doctor's appointment. And, uh, <laughs> here's the thing with that. Um, we got up there and we're getting checked in. And the, the gal at the desk was like, I don't see her. You know, I don't see her on, but it's like, you know, like, what was it for? Was it for, you know, a, a well child check, you know, just a, a yearly checkup? Uh, oh, it takes coins. Uh, I'll keep it. Um, so we get up there, but like, it's just for a checkup, and they're like, we, we can squeeze you in. And I even had the appointment cards, like, hey, we made this appointment a year ago. <laughs> But, like, they were changing over, like, systems. So, um, it must have got kind of, like, lost and never transferred over with the new system. But they're like, alright, well, we get you in anyway. So, <laughs> so it was fine. So we got in. Uh, Rumble Fumble, find the shy guy hiding in a bucket. First play to find three guys, three, three guy shies? Three shy guys wins. And, uh, it checks the rumble. Uh, remember the rumble pattern of the buckets they have shy guys hiding under them? Exclamation point. How can you even tell with the rumble off? Will the exclamation points kind of do things? Okay. Nope. Oh, that was two shy guys. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. That was a uh, exclamation shakes different. Okay, cool. I just had no idea because I I typically always have a controller that rumbles. So I did have a couple of wireless controllers there. They weren't wave birds, um, but I had a couple like wireless controllers. I got them from like GameStop, and they were like really really tiny, but they had like no rumble. So like the convenience was nice to have it wireless. But, like, I hated not having a rumble, especially when, like, so many minigames from, you know, the different Mario Party games relied on rumble. So I was like, eh, I like the rumble, so... Wow! Literally, like, three spaces in front of her. Jeez. Um... But yeah, I, I like the rumble, and, uh, we also have a wave bird. If you remember me struggling with the wave bird to show off the Bowser suit in Mario Party 4, because I'd never seen it with my own eyes before. I, I used the wave bird for that. Because uh, I think we have more um, extension cords for the GameCube. I just didn't want to have to fish those out. And fish another corded uh, GameCube controller when the wave bird is literally like right next to me. <laughs> So, but yeah, I, I'm just partial to the rumble. I like it, so, yeah. Like, yeah, the convenience of a wireless controller is nice. I just like having rumble, which is why I like the Switch Pro controller and, like, the PS5 controller. Like, man, the rumble on the PS5, go burr. Like, quite literally, it gets intense. Hello, Dustin. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. I have it on hard AI. Like, I, I do everything with hard AI, much to my dismay. Uh, much to my chagrin. Uh, you know what? Sure, I'll, I'll use it on myself. Why not? I'll pay the price. You know, spend money to make money. Hello. 15 from everyone. All right. Everyone lose money. Give me money. I'll take all of it. Give me money. I'll take some more. Give me money. 
I'll be floored with all of this money here in my pocket. Anyway. Tomorrow in the Luigi RPG game, voice actor sound familiar, does it? I haven't really been paying attention. I can't remember. Do I, do I get the money? I don't get the money! That's right! That's right! I do not get any money! That's ridiculous, I think. That is ridiculous, honestly. Uh, where is the star? Is it up here? Yeah, it's up there. Okay. Uh, how many do I have? I have six. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Luigi. Ah. Uh, sure. Why not? I'll land on the happening. I'll do it. I'll sacrifice myself. I'll sacrifice myself. Goodbye. Yoshi's blasting off again. Maybe I'll go by... Maybe I'll get another capsule. Yeah, I totally forgot. That was like my my one gripe with the, like, the paratrooper capsule. It's like, you don't get any of the money you take! It's stupid! It's absolutely stupid! Squared away! Um, this one made it to superstars. Uh, three players each climb into a giant cube and try to squish the fourth player who's trying to escape in a smaller cube. Uh, players in the smaller cube, smaller cube should make tight turns to escape the giant boxes. Three players in the giant cube should cooperate and try to corner the fourth player. So. Alright. Oh, it's a Yoshi egg! He didn't even try! Luigi! Thank you. Oh no! He tripped. Charles Martinet? Uh... Didn't Charles Martinet retire? And aren't they using the new person for everything going forward? Because he retired before Wonder came out. And they used the new person for, for Mario Wonder. So, yeah, because Charles Martinet retired, which honestly, you know, I don't blame the guy. He, I mean, like, you know, I, I'd say it, Kevin F. Okay, gotcha. I, I remember seeing the name Kevin. Like, from what I've heard, like, I don't really hear much of a difference, you know? I know Charles Martinet is, like, super iconic. I know he's super iconic and everything. And, like, he is so beloved. But also, again, like, he can't voice Mario forever. You know? And, like, it's his own decision to do what he wants. Such places with another player? Where are you at? I wasn't paying attention. Hey! I get rewarded for rolling low. So... Gotcha. But, like, I mean, granted, I haven't really been paying much attention to, like, the differences in how they voice Mario. It's... And, like, if I can't pick apart the differences, then I think it's fine. Because, like, sometimes uh, changes in voices are, like, super obvious. Uh, Flight Eater, one player rides a ball, tries to run over the other three. If you're running, try not to get squashed. It's essentially the opposite of Squared Away. There we go. Uh, mine molds pop out of the ground. Be careful not to trip on them. Yep. Yeah. Um. It's not like... It's not like a... Like a Dragon Ball Z Kai with some of the voice actor changes. Like a Gohan and Frieza. Like, those are kind of like stark changes where you can definitely hear a difference. But like, I've gotten used to... Um... What's his name? Shit. Damon Mills. I think that's who voices Frieza now because uh, Chris, it was Chris Ayers, but then he uh, passed away uh, a couple years ago? A year and a half ago? I think it's been over a year since he passed! Oh god, get away from me! Um, but Damon Mills has definitely like stepped up and has done very well in the role of Frieza. But also, like, Linda Young, like, damn. Linda Young's a damn good Frieza. But also, it's like the nostalgic, that's what we grew up with, Frieza. Um, but like, both are really good. 
But like, it's not like a, you can barely tell the difference. Like, uh, the Kid Trunks, uh, Laura Bailey and, oh crap, what's her name? I don't know who voices Kid Trunks now. But like, there was like hardly any difference and I couldn't tell it was a different voice actor. You know, when the change happened. So it's it's like one of those. It's like, you know, I feel like if you can't tell the difference, then it shouldn't be something to complain about. You know, that's just my take. Uh, I was born in 96, which makes him the same age as Charles Martinet's career. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Chain Chomp is essentially Boo, because Boo became a playable character. Oh, what? Are you going after Luigi because he's in second place? I mean, I'm not mad, but that wasn't the smart thing to do. Heh <laughs> boo. <laughs> but also, like, being born in 96, that's a year younger than me. And, uh, being the voice of Mario? I mean, hell yeah! You're made! <laughs> not as good, but he is cheaper. That is true. That is true. <laughs> Alright. Uh, time to roll a two and miss the star. Good. Good. <laughs> good, because I was so afraid. Because that happening space just takes me back to the beginning, essentially. Again. Because, of course, what else would it do? What else would it do? Toy Dream is not my favorite. But again, what really is my favorite out of the Mario Party 5 boards, am I right? It's just... I think what really gets me is the music. The music on these boards are awful. Awful boards. Awful. Awful. I don't like them. I don't like it, I just like zone out. There's nothing, there's nothing about it. I allow for the most elite services, yes. Uh, frozen Frenzy, punch, kick, and ground pound your opponents and take crystals from them. Whoever has the most crystals at the end wins. Um, if you hit an icicle, you'll drop all the crystals you've gathered. Avoid them at all costs. There's only, I think, five total. Yes, there's five total, and we're essentially just fighting uh, to get all these. There's one, me, like that. Uh. Oh, come on, bitch. Hey, mate. Oh, no. What's happening? Aha. And, oh. Nope. What? Bitch! Get back here. Oh, um. Get away from me. You guys can fight amongst yourselves. <laughs> Suckers! I did it. Look at me go. Yeah, okay. Mini games are fun. I have fun with these mini games. But this is the part where I just like zone out. <laughs> <sighs> but again, gauntlet run. Gauntlet rules. 50 turns, everything. But I did calculate it whether or not Mario Party 5 works for me or not. If I stream every. You know, every board, Mario Party 5. Um, by my birthday, it'll either be 6 or 7, and that's fine by me. And there's our question of the day. Why? <laughs> Just why? 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 <laughs> uh, banana Punch! Break the barrels and collect as many bananas as you can! Uh, there you go. That, that's it. Just just punch things. Because. I mean, that's fair. You got me there. Now we just, just run and punch. Ow! Who punched me? I want nothing to do with you. Whoever did that, you are dead to me. <laughs> I 
Yeah, like part of, part, okay. I'm like so torn on this. Like part of the hope is like, yeah, I want to see more than Toy Dream. The other part of the hope is the game crashes several times and I don't have to do this. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> oh, goodness. Mario is using a mush. And rolls an eight. What is this? What's he landing on? It's a hammer bro. He loses money. Yahoo, he did it. Hooray. <laughs> uh, I do not remember where the star was. Oh yeah, it's kind of on my path, I think. Toy Dream isn't great, but I don't really like most of the initial boards in Mario Party. That is... Like, I totally get it. Like, I don't even know what would cons be considered the quote-unquote initial board in, like, Mario Party 1. Because I always start with Mario's Rainbow Castle because it's a one-star difficulty board and it's Mario and plus I like the board. But, like, the first in the list is DK's Jungle Adventure and that one's not too bad either. So maybe I'm just partial to Mario Party 1. And I do like Pirate Land in Mario Party 2. I really love Pirate Land. It's a huge freaking board, but also like the music is great and it keeps me entertained. But uh, Mario Party 3, Chili Waters. I, I also really enjoy Chili Waters. Again, I may just be partial to three. Um, What is this, please? Oh, opponent to attack. Goodbye, Peach. You dancing. Can't stand Pirate Land. Again, we can agree to disagree there, because I, I do really like Pirate Land. Yeah, I think the big thing for me is, like, music on the board. Because if we're going to be spending a lot of time on the board, it better be music I enjoy. <laughs> Which is probably my problem with Mario Party 5, because I don't remember how all the tracks went in all the boards in Mario Party 5. I, like, I, if you ask me to, like, to sing it or hum it for you, I can't. I can't. Sorry. Uh, Dinger Derby. This one was also in Superstars. Swing the baseball bat, hit the pitches from the pitching machine. Whoever hits most pitches wins. Try watching the speed of the arm to predict the speed of the pitch. I mean, it's baseball season. All right, I'm over here on the end. Okay. It's been a while since I've done this. Like zone out, no thoughts head empty. Oh god. It's been so long. Oh god. Not bad. There we go. Oh no. Should have seen that one coming. Should have seen that one coming. I got 18, though. Which, honestly, I feel like I'm so much better in Mario Party 5 with this one than I am in Superstars. I don't... I can never get the timing down in Superstars with that one. I don't know what it is. And I remember hearing someone say, like, oh, there's an audio cue. But I'm like, I can't. There really isn't an... It's just an audio cue of when they throw the ball, and the ball comes at a different speed, so that doesn't really help. So, I don't know. I don't know. Terrace feels so laggy in comparison. Yeah, I... I don't know. I mean, it's been a while since I played Superstars, so... Like, I can't tell you unless I, like, immediately, like, pulled it up to play it now. But, like, there's a lot of minigames, I feel like that, because, like, it's just the different physics changes that they had, because everything just feels so floaty. But, I mean, I've complained a lot about the physics changes in, uh, Superstars compared to, like, the originals. Ha! Um... But yeah, there's just lots of differences. And it's like, I feel like it's one of those where it's like, oh, she's so good at Mario Party. And then I like suck at some of these minigames because I'm not used to like the different changes in the physics. 
So it's like, oh, everyone's beating me. But no, I mean, it's not like, oh, I'm, I'm doing bad because I'm just not used to the physics. That sounds like such a, like a cop-out excuse, but like, it's the truth and I'm trying to get used to them. Because like, I don't play Superstars very often. I played it a fair bit when it came out just to kind of get stuff unlocked. But like, after that, like, not really. Not really, so, uh, yeah, sure, I'll take capsule. Uh, what do we got? Yellow coin block capsule. I mean, okay. Uh, sure, I'll take the start. Uh, when they announced the new Mario Party, honest, I thought they were finally releasing DLC for Superstars. I was disappointed, to be honest. I was actually really excited because I had given up hope on Superstars DLC a long time ago. Because if it didn't happen within the first year of it being out, there was no way it was getting DLC. None. So I was super excited about a new Mario Party. Yeah, it has the Super Mario Party moniker on it, which Super Mario Party wasn't all that bad. Not quite the same complaint I have with Super Mario Party as they do with 5. Like, the minigames were fun. Uh, can you give me the map, please? Where is the star? Is it over here? Wasn't the star over here somewhere? Okay, it's... Peach is on her way there. Um, no, thank you. Um, like, the, I love the minigames. Minigames are pretty fun in Super Mario Party. But, like, the boards are just so small. And there's not enough to it. And everything was just so condensed and, like, cut in half. Like, regular stars were just ten coins. And, like, that just didn't seem right with me. And just, again, everything was just so small and condensed. But, like, the little peak that we got at the boards, they feel so much bigger and more alive. So I have hope for the new Mario Party. I have hope. And plus 110 minigames and bringing back Mario Rainbow Castle in Western Land, I'm, I'm already sold, you know? Uh, I heard rumors about Five Nights at Freddy's coming to Fortnite. Oh, I had no idea about that. I'm uh, not sure how I feel about the new Mario Party, but hey, Western Land's coming back. Yeah, I mean, I have hope. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to give it a chance. I just... I mean, I just hope, you know? Uh, fish upon a star! Avoid the falling objects and crumbling ground, and the other players, last player standing, wins! Feeling the ground is starting to shake, it's about to fall from underneath. Get solid and quick. It's just fight to the finish with a falling floorboard. And it's fish upon a star because there's fish. Stop! Ow, rude. Excuse you! Oh, the invincibility frames are awful. Buddy, hey. Go away. Punch you. Oh no, I walked off! <laughs> I walked off! <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't feel about the new market either, in reason. Because it's not out yet. Yeah, and like my thing is when things get announced. In this day and age, especially with like content creation and social media and the internet and everything, people are just so. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. People are just so <laughs> quick to like jump on things, jump on the the bandwagon per se, and everyone just like overanalyzes every tiny little detail about things. And they'll be like, oh, this is not gonna be good. This is not gonna be, this is gonna be the worst thing in existence. Or like, this is gonna be like the absolute best thing ever. And it's just like one or the, one end or the other side of the spectrum. And it's just like, that's just not how it is. We can give, you know, initial thoughts, but like, let's not decide if something's going to be the best in the world or the worst thing ever before it's even out. Just by like one trailer, one trailer that we got. So, that's just my problem in, you know, today's age. So, yeah, there, there's my quote-unquote problems with it. But, like, I am just going to stay in my own lane and be excited for the new Mario Party game. Like, I'm excited to play it, and it does kind of suck because it does look like 
you know, Super Mario Party, you only have the Joy-Con. Which kinda sucks. <laughs> which does kinda suck. Not gonna lie. What do I even- I Oh, I have two coin blocks. I mean, I can gain five coins. To get rid of them. Clickbait be bait. Exactly. Hello, exotic. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Hey! Look at me rolling ones. Look at me. It's like I knew. <laughs> it's like I knew. Hello, Deltora. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Huh. Yeah. Like, I'm just gonna be over here feeling excited for the new Mario Party and have a hope that... My hope and expectation is that it's going to be better than Super Mario Party. That's it. That's my only expectation and just from the trailer, in my opinion, I think it will be. So that's that's my thing. So Leaf Leap, this one was also in Superstars. Uh, jump from leaf to leaf and climb never ending beanstalk. Essentially, just jump. Might as well jump. Ba, ba. It takes a second for me to register which direction I need to hit to jump. It's like if there is like a little cue oh shit to to know, then sure. Oh god! And also, hard AI, they're a beast at everything! Crap! Like, look at that! Look at that! I'm like so behind them! I'm gonna work early, gonna cook some food, and play some more Elden Ring DLC! Love it! Yeah, look at that. How did, how did I get to 144? How did I do that? Maybe I just need more practice. <laughs> oh man, it, it's rough out here. But, uh, Elden Ring, I heard it is really, really good, but also really... Is it, like, really difficult? I've heard it's hard. I've heard it is hard. But I also know people really enjoyed it. I don't think it's really my kind of game. But, I mean, like, hey, I'm, you know, excited for, you know, people to, to like things, you know? Tessa beat them. I'm trying! I'm trying, okay! It's a Dark Souls game, essentially, so yes, gotcha. And I've heard Dark Souls is terrible. Not like terrible, but like extremely difficult. Like that that should probably be like my new like moniker of like or like opening question of like how difficult the game is on a scale of one to Dark Souls. How difficult is this game? <laughs> oh man, it's windy outside. Whew. Hidden block? It's money? Dang, Luigi, look at you. Oh, hey, it's my turn. Uh... Sure. Sure, why not? Bam, bam. I mean, I'm still landing on a coin block because I put that down earlier. <laughs> coin block! I'm, I'm just getting the, all the coin blocks. I love challenging games. Nothing like getting beat a ton of times and then winning. I, I mean, I totally understand like being challenged at something where it's like you like try to put in all the effort trying everything and then when you finally succeed it's like so rewarding like that's a really good feeling like i just don't want an entire game to be that you know like i don't want to get my ass kicked in the tutorial how about that like back half of the game sure throw in the difficulty 
<laughs> but like, the, if I'm getting my ass kicked in the tutorial, then it's not for me, chief. Fish sticks catch cheap cheap as they nibble on fishing lines and the pole dips. Grab it. Whoever gets the most points wins. I didn't read the... Uh, I did not read the advice. Oh, well, it's fine. It's just fishing. Start. Uh, oops. That one. Ooh, that's, a, that's a golden. Uh, is that dipping? I don't think it is. No. Uh, sometimes I can't tell. Oh, that's dipping Mario! Oh, you're dipping. Uh, this one. Excuse you, I grabbed that! I grabbed that, bitch. Finish. <laughs> I think I've grabbed the least amount of fish, but they were all golden. <laughs> they were all gold fish. I think that might have been what the advice was, is like gold is worth three. Reds are worth one. I think that might have been what the advice was. Does the only catching gold ones hacks? Yeah, I secretly hacked the game to make my life a lot easier against these hard AI. Because <laughs> these hard AI can be awful to me sometimes. I was playing. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, I do. If a game doesn't challenge me to slide a second four faster, that is absolutely fair. And everyone is like different with how they want to approach games. You know? And like that is absolutely fair. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, how am I? I'm doing pretty good. Day's doing pretty good. Uh, just playing some Mario Kart 5. Much to my dismay. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was playing Insomniac Spider Man earlier, and I really appreciated being able to change difficulty at any time. That's essentially Xenoblade 2. Like, I never had that problem with uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. All the other ones I did have to change difficulty with. Uh, which Mario Parties have I played? I have played all of the Mario Parties except for Mario Party Advanced, Star Rush, Top 100, and Mario Party 10. Those are the only Mario Parties I have not played. So I've played 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, Super Mario Party, Mario Party Superstars. Uh, I have Island Tour. I have DS. So I, I've played a lot of Mario Party. <laughs> oh yeah, and also battle mini games randomly happen. And they don't happen in the middle of the board, which is kind of nice. Looking back on it after the fiasco that was uh, Toad's Midway Madness in 4. So many battles. <laughs> so many battles. I'm gonna play 8, 9, DS, Advance, Super, and Superstars. Childhood was 8, 9, and 5 Swords, 9, Favorite is 9. You know, that is fair. Oh, also, we get to vote. I did not see who voted anywhere. Okay, it's Bill Blaster. Okay, never mind. This one made it to Superstars. Um, 9, I have the same sentiment with 9 as I do 5. Love the mini games in nine. I absolutely love the mini games in nine. I do not like the car mechanic. I am in that group. I don't like the car mechanic. Uh, the boo board is like my favorite board. It's the best one. But I, I just hate how it's set up to where you hardly play any of the really good mini games when you play a board. That's just my take. Not missing much on advance. Yeah, that's what I've heard. So I'm not too, I'm not too mad about advance, and I'm not too mad about ten. <laughs> I am not too mad about ten. I heard Bowser Party is broken. <laughs> uh, my play advance is getting like good single player again. That's you know fair. More power to you. Bell blasters, fire bullet bills at opponents. Platform blur, ble beefy briefly stops when your shot is fired. The last one standing is the winner. Uh, when you get hit, your platform will spin slower, making it easier to aim at your opponents, but also easier for them to hit you. So, all right, where am I? Oh, jeez! He's got hit by Peach right out the gate. Like, bro, are you serious? Luigi! How dare. How dare you stop me from achieving my dreams of blowing up Princess Peach. How dare you, Yoshi? How dare you do that to me? It's not like I opened fire right on you out the gate. Uh, yeah, you did, Peach. 
Uh, no I didn't, don't lie. Uh, you're the liar, Peach. I am having a conversation with myself. What is this? Oh, crap. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, come on! I couldn't get it! I couldn't get it! No! You play Super Mario Party Jamboree? Uh, yes, we're gonna... Hopefully, we're gonna get it close to release. I don't know if it's gonna be... It might be like the day after it's released we might get it because that's when my husband gets paid. That's a that's a payday week for him. Um, but um, Dragon Ball Z Sparking Zero, my husband did pre-order it and he's getting like the big old $200 deluxe collector's edition for it. So uh, <laughs> that comes out the week before. But yeah, we'll be we'll be in a good household uh, in October. <laughs> But yeah, uh-oh, it's Mario Party 5. I know, I called an audible. I called the audible. I just wasn't feeling TTYD today. I just wasn't feeling it. So I'm like, I'm just gonna get this over with. And I think it's a good thing I did because the way I had it set up, I honestly thought there were six boards in Mario Party 5. There's seven. Like, I was today years old when I realized there are seven boards in Mario Party 5. Why? I have no idea. <sighs> Maybe because I completely forget Under Sea Dream exists. Oh, he just stole my star. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh, Spark Zero seems cool. Love Dragon Ball, though. Yeah. My husband's a big Dragon Ball guy. So, like, big Dragon Ball guy. Like, grew up with it. He has, he has the infamous orange bricks. Um, we got all the Dragon Ball DVDs, all GT. Um, we got the movies, we got Battle of Gods, Resurrection F, uh, Broly, Superhero. Um, he bought the uh, manga box sets um, for a while. Jason Awesome Gaming, hello, hello! Welcome in, hello! Welcome in, Raiders, hello, hello! Grab you. Shout out. Shout out, not shot out. There we go. There we go. Grab your shout out. How was your stream? What were you up to? Fortnite, let's go. Nice. Hello and welcome in, Raiders. My name is Tessa Jane. I am a variety streamer. And today is <laughs> Mario Party 5. Um, this is part of the quote-unquote gauntlet run that I am doing. I'm playing Mario Parties 1 through 8, uh, 50 turns, all boards, and at the very end of the adventure, we're just gonna sit down and do a tier list of every single board I've played. But yeah. A uh, shot out of a cannon, I know. Mario Party 5. We don't talk about Mario Party 5, but we're playing it today. So, uh, there we go. Uh, let me... Uh, how many times has it crashed this far? None. It has not crashed yet. <laughs> Keyword yet. This way. Also, I didn't even notice. Uh, you can hold R to go to the star spot, which is nice. Uh, I do want to get Mario and Luigi Brothership, but I'm going to either get a job first or wait until Christmas. I spent too much on games. I, fair. Fair enough. Totally understand. But hello, Jason. Hello, hello. Thank you again for the raid. Uh, I should also finish the other Mario RPGs. I have access because of Nintendo Switch Online for uh, Superstar Saga. Um, I have watched playthroughs of Superstar Saga, um, Partners in Time. I own Bowser's Inside Story. I have not beat it yet, and I haven't played any of the others or seen anything on the other ones yet. So, but that's really cool. New Mario and Luigi game. <laughs> huh. First rule of Fight Club is to have fun and be yourself. That's not how I remember it. It's revolving fire. The single player tries to get the other three with a flame shooting gun or with lava waves. The other player tries to dodge. We see a glowing crater. It means lava wave is about to come your way. Look out. Just avoid fire. I have no funds for almost anything at the moment. A mood. That is such a mood. Also, you slip, so you have to keep moving. Oh God! Luigi, save us! <laughs> Luigi, save us! 
Luigi, how could you? Hello, Jason. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. And thank you again for the raid. I'm gonna go work tomorrow, actually, so hopefully my funds will become bigger. Hopefully. Hopefully. But yeah, not having funds for anything, that is such a mood. <laughs> that is such a mood. But yeah, my, my husband pre-ordered the, the big ol' uh, <laughs> deluxe collectors, whatever it's called, the $200 uh, pre-order, because it that one that one comes with the, the the big old statue of like what is it Ultra Instinct Goku and Broly? Is that the statue that's coming with it? I mean, it's freaking cool. It's freaking cool. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've been uh, pretty hyped for Sparking Zero, like because like my husband, you know, grew up on Dragon Ball. He has the games. And stuff again, like Dragon Ball Z Kakarot was a game that he bought three times. <laughs> Just because he loves Dragon Ball, because um, he had pre-ordered the Switch version, and it was taking a bit to get here, and so he's like, "I don't want to wait." So he bought the game digitally on the Switch, because <laughs> all we had at the time was the Switch, so you can only get the Switch version. But then, uh, a little over a year ago, uh, right after we got our taxes, we got a PS5. Uh, so... <laughs> so he bought the PS5 version shortly after we got a PS5. So now he just primarily plays the PS5 version. Because it runs a lot better on the PS5! Because the load times are actually decent. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, despite playing Mario Party 5, because... It's a, it's a running theme and also personal feelings. Um, Mario Party 5 is my least favorite out of the Mario parties. <laughs> so, really, I never would have guessed that a guy named Vegeta would be a Dragon Ball fan. I know, right? <laughs> every time, like, every time we see, you know, Vegito, like, in terms, like, Dragon Ball Vegito, we're like, hey, it's you. <laughs> it's, a, it's a running joke and it's, it's, it, it gives me giggles every time. 18. Mario 5 really does feel like an in-between version of Mario Party 4 and 6. It's like the transitional one. I, I can definitely agree with that. Especially, I do like 4, and I really like 6. I feel like I might have liked 6 more if I played it before 7, but I played 7 first and then 6. So, because there's a lot of things from that are in seven that take inspiration from six. So there's there's lots of that. Um, but like, six is still a good Mario Party. Well, yeah, it's between four and six. Ah! I mean, yes. I like the orbs in six, but here in five feels like they aren't fully realized. Yeah, I even had a complaint with one of them that I used earlier. Uh, the uh, the, the, the Paracoupa, the Paracoupa orb, or orb, capsule, because there are capsules here, um, because I, I used it thinking, oh, hey, it's going to just steal, uh, I think that's a shorter distance, so I'm going to go this way. I'll take the yellow on the red space. Uh, shit, where was I going? Oh, yeah, the, the Paracoupa capsule, like, oh, uh, I was... It's like, hey, I'm gonna go take these coins from the opponents. The, the number equal to whatever uh, number you roll on the dice block. And, um, oh, this one. Um, and like, I was sitting here thinking, oh, I'm gonna get the money. I'm gonna get so much money from this. And no, you don't earn a dime. So if you use it on yourself, you're just out 10 coins. It's like, what the absolute fuck is that? What's the whole point of making other people lose money if you don't gain a freaking coin from it? That's ridiculous. Anyway, <laughs> call me old school, but I like the shop over the capsule machine. That's fair, but also, like, I think with the capsule machine, it promotes just using the capsule right away. Heat stroke, one player tries to knock the other three off the blocks while the other three must jump to avoid being knocked off. Um, I can fake. I can fake him out. 
Uh, play with the hammer and try to fake out yeah, press and B. Uh, also watch for photo booths. Um, I've... There's a couple ways we can do this. There's been times where I've just mashed and I've won. Or we can just do it that way. That works pretty good, too. <laughs> the only orb I do like in 5, which I don't think is in 6 or 7, is the monkey one. Is that the one that takes orbs? Hmm. I do know there is a set of orbs. Or an orb. Or capsule. Whatever. In Mark 5. It's called the Miracle Capsule. And what happens is if you have one, nothing happens. Um, if one person possesses three of them, then all of the stars from first place go to the person in last place. But that's if one person has possession of three of them. Forgot about ads, I'm sorry. Man, it's windy outside. I mean, I am in Kansas, so wind is not a big deal to me. Um. All right, uh, where? Oh, I got, I got swapped to somewhere, didn't I? I did. That's rude. <laughs> That is so rude. Man, it's like, I get the idea of, um, just, like, getting the capsules and, like, throwing them onto spaces. Totally get it, because that's kind of what Mario Party 5 is, is going for. And that's kind of, there's a last five turns board event that, uh, is essentially, it changes all of the spaces to capsule spaces. And that's kind of the most fun because that's when it gets interesting. All right, I guess it's this one. Because, again, we're back to mashing. Tugadori! Pull your opponents off the platforms by tugging on a rope. Last player remaining. Mash A. That's essentially what it is. I don't know why, but the symbols on the Mark 4 spaces look so weird to me. WHAT?! EXCUSE YOU! EXCUSE YOU! I WAS MASHING AS HARD AS I FUCKING COULD! <sighs> oh, yep, this is where... I, I mentioned it earlier, um, one of my biggest complaints about Mario Party 5, not just the boards, the hard AI, they are stupid. Not like stupid as in they make stupid decisions and are easy to deal with. They're stupid as in they're stupid good. Yeah, what the hell happened? Because you had him and then suddenly pulled all the way back. I know! I know! And I was just straight mashing! Like, I didn't change anything! I didn't even take a break, no nothing! Hacks. Luigi's hacking. <laughs> Luigi is hacking. <sighs> I hate the hard AI in Mario Party 5. I hate it. I hate it so much. But if I do change it to normal, they will be absolutely, like, stupid. Like, they will get too easy for me. Because, like, the difference between normal and hard AI is just, like, leagues different. Because <laughs> I have done back-to-back -back boards. Because, uh, like, okay, used to, like, you know, I've played through Mario Parties, you know, on my own by myself and um and like but when i did that you know by myself on my own time i did like 20 turns and everything and occasionally i would throw in a 50 turn board in there and i was gonna play through five 
I was gonna play through five and you know doing 20 turn boards and I was doing it with hard AI damn it I was doing, you know hard AI and it was getting ridiculous I was getting extremely stressed out I was stupid angry about things so I turned the next board down to normal I turned the AI down to normal and it was a cakewalk it was a cakewalk I'm like I don't want this I don't want a cakewalk that's not what I want at all and so I did like the Bowser board with hard AI and I got my ass kicked and I hated it <laughs> Yes, Frost. Hi. Hello. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Who's blackmailing you? Send me a whisper if you need <laughs> No, I, I did this on my own volition. No wonder it might rain. It might snow even. What? Summer? Summertime? June? <sighs> yeah, it might snow. I don't know. I mean, it's winter on the on the lower hemisphere. Or southern hemisphere. Uh, flower shower. Collect the flowers before they disappear. Whoever catches the most wins. Uh, just slow down water, stay out of it. Uh, gold flowers. It's the eight ball. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I consulted a magic eight ball. And asked, should I play Mario Party 5 today? And it's like, yes, definitely. And like, oh, well, okay. No, not really. Yeah, again, this is my own volition. I, as weird as it sounds, I just really wasn't feeling TTYD today. Uh, I just, you know... And like, yeah, it's my favorite game of all time. Oh, I think she got that. Crap. Um. Uh, you know, I just kind of wasn't feeling it. Because again, like, yeah, favorite game of all time. But like, I just, I just wasn't feeling it. So like, sure, my play five. Just to get it, just to get it started. Get it over with. Part, uh, again, half of me wants to like show the other boards other than Toy Dream. The other half of me is hoping it crashes five times and I don't have to do it. <laughs> that, that's like my secret hope. <laughs> but you are feeling this, I know. Hey, ball, stop blackmailing Tessa, please. Sure. <laughs> Torture has to start at one point, I guess. I know, I know. And I calculated right on like, you know, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And also, I didn't realize Mario Party 5 had seven boards. Uh, everything else has six. So I was under the impression that Mario Party 5 had six boards. So I calculated it and whether or not Mario Party 5 would work for me or not, by my birthday, it should be six or seven. And that's, you know, depending on Mario Party 5 working or not. So I don't have to play Mario Party 5 on my birthday. That's kind of really what I wanted. I did not want to play Mario Party 5 on my birthday. Because <laughs> my birthday is a Thursday this year. So this game's boards are drier than sandpaper. I know. There's only like one good one and it's what, Pirate Dream? That's like the only good one. That's like the only one I really remember. It's like the only one that seemed like different enough to me. I mean like Future Dream was okay, but it's not really future, it's more space. So, Undersea Dream is the absolute worst. I think I mentioned it the other day where it's like, I forget that board even exists. <laughs> Like, I, maybe that's why I thought Mario Party 5 had six boards. I forgot that one existed. Higher Dream is a board stuck in a bad game. Yep, it's a good board stuck in a bad game. Yep. The Bone Capsule is essentially your boo repellent. It helps drive Chain Chomp away uh, if it gets, if it gets uh, sent on you. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I can get there on two dice blocks, maybe. <laughs> but no, on my luck, I'm gonna roll like a one and a three. If I call this, I swear. Welp. 
I didn't make it to the star, but I did not roll as low as I was expecting. Give me a mushroom. No, that's not what I want. Not, not the mushroom I wanted. That was, I mean, I guess I got what I asked for. So I never did specify. <laughs> I never did specify. Uh, let's see, the only one I'd bring back from five. Or it's the only one I would bring back from five if I was to select a board from each. Same. Same. Pi oh, jeez, vicious bending. This one's kind of dumb. So stupid. Rotate the lever to get a capsule. Whatever comes out, serious as a surprise. It's ridiculous. This game is stupid. Stop. And also, you can see what you get. I got swamp. I'm the only one that got a thwomp? Bullshit. I call hacks. Aside from the boards, I think this game is one of the worst coin economies in the series. Too easy to get a shitload of coins very early in the game. That's fair, because... What, I have 175 coins... On turn... What turn are we on? 16. Turn 16. Not even like halfway or anything. 175 coins. Yeah, I could totally get it. <sighs> I hate this game in particular. Uh, I know, I know. <sighs> it's so stupid. There's like no point to it. I think it meant sense actually since the orbs if you want to use them on yourself. Cost. Yes, Frost. Yes. What can I help you with? Why did you choose 50 turns? Because I said, I said during this gauntlet run, I will do 50 turns in Mario Party 5. That is what I said. Those are my gauntlet rules and I am sticking to them. The only one I did not stick it stick to it with is uh, Shy Guy's Jungle Jam in Mario Party 4. But that's because I had no idea how long it would take because Toad's Midway Madness took way too damn long. So, um, yeah. She's dedicated, lol. Okay, well, not all rules need to be followed! I am secretly a masochist? I, is it a secret? Is it really a secret? You know, because I am the type of person who would go years without playing like Mario Kart 64 and then immediately jump into Rainbow Road. Like one of the first times I booted up Guitar Hero 3, I, I went into practice mode and played through the Fire and the Flames. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to torture myself, okay? Okay? <laughs> So only does 50 turns. It's just who she is, I, I guess. Pushy penguins! This one's really fun. This one made it superstars. Avoid penguins! That's that's it. That's the game. Avoid penguins. But also, uh, I am an hour and 16 minutes in, and we are not even halfway. I It may come to the point where I have to turn off minigame explanations for five as well. Because I, I always did 40... For the- Oh god! No! 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 I got pushed by the biggin. I got pushed by the biggin. Yeah, I may have to shut off minigame explanations. I may have to do that just to speed it up a little bit. Because that worked for four. And four had really long loading times. Bad draw there. I know. I know I got screwed on that one. Ball, does Tessa like to torture herself? Negative three out of ten. Would not recommend. Ugh. Eight ball, should penguins be avoided IRL? Absolutely not. Next nice question day. Why? You know what? I'm going to make the executive decision to skip minigame explanations. Hold on. Uh okay. Yep. I'm making the executive decision. We're we're doing it. We're speeding it up because, again, it's 2.30 and we're not even halfway. I think it's just the, the pacing of the GameCube Mario parties. They are very slow. 
I think it gets better in like six and seven because there's different board gimmicks that can speed or slow down play. Whereas like four and five, it's all essentially the same. So, yeah. <sighs> I assume that's fair enough. Fair enough, I just... I just thought their teeth look scary. <laughs> Alright, uh... What's your answer for the question of the day? Hmm, I guess it doesn't know. Maybe you gotta wait a little bit. I know there's a, there's a cooldown on it. Why? Why? I wish I knew why. It's not too late to go to ten turns! I know. I know. Uh, sure. A tweester! Tweester moves the star, I believe. In this game, it moves the star. Hey, Paul, what's your answer for the question of the day? The answer is within yourself! And the question of the day is just why? The answer is within yourself. Right in front of Paige? Are you kidding me? Jeez, these star spaces are kind of brutal. Uh, one, two, three, four. Ooh, bank. Give me money. I'll take all of it. Give me money. I'll take some more. Give me money. I'll be floored with all of this money here in my pocket. Yeah. Surprised I kind of like remember all these like songs I come up with uh, But a lot of the time uh, I I rewatch like old clips Oh, not like right uh, you're playing chicken Oh shit That was bad also I think my brain is so tripped up because the visuals are so different between this one and Superstars. Because Superstars, where I had it is like four yards. Where I had it was like four yards in Superstars. So I like panicked. <laughs> Cause that one is in Superstars. Yeah, uh, you essentially press A when you wanna release your flashlight, you're playing chicken. Uh, what is this? I don't know what's going on anymore, honestly. This game and Minecraft Double Dash came out a week apart. Did it that close? Dang. That's kind of crazy. I didn't know that. 2003? Was that when Double Dash came out? Was it 03? I think I bought the right one at the time. Fair. Double Dash is great. I know Mario Party 7 came out in 05. Because that was when I got my GameCube. Bundled with Mario Party 7. That was Christmas of 05. So. Just kind of thinking on track. Uh, a ball, do you dislike Mario Party 5 as much as Tessa does? Ha 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 ha, no. So it does not dislike Mario Party 5 as much as I do, which is a, a crying shame. What are you doing? Oh yeah, you can duel for stars. Great, oh no. I'm almost afraid because the last time the game crashed, it was for a duel. But he's wagering 50 coins because you can do that. I'm like scared. I am so scared. Oh, it's this one! Oh, it's luck base! Oh no! Oh no. Luigi, what are you doing? Okay. No. What haven't we? That one? I haven't done that one. What hasn't been? Ah, 
God damn it. I hate everything. Cause you can you can just take stars from someone without wagering a star. Three coins is higher than six, is it? I mean it's what, thirty? You can wager thirty coins, I think. Ugh. I got my game people on release day. Nice. Uh, my husband. 40 coins. Okay, gotcha. Um, I know my husband got his, I think Christmas of 03 was when he got his GameCube. And then I got mine uh, Christmas of 05. Because yeah, growing up I was always like, quote unquote, a generation behind on, on consoles. Oh, I have a bone? <laughs> Sounds so bad out of context. <laughs> I got so excited that I had a bone. <laughs> what? Hey, money! I, I'm definitely reaping the benefits of me placing these here. <laughs> it's not quite the tax road that I usually try to build on Pagoda Peak in Mario Party 7, but this works too. <laughs> I have a bone? Does the 2024 lie? Oh, there's there's a quote. It's like, don't throw me a bone or something. That was from, um... Uh, TTYD. Uh, the clock. Time. We, we tell time. Oh my god, Peach. Why would you do this?! Why did you do it that way? Why? 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 And that is a bone. Don't throw me a bone. Peach! What the fuck? We are not coordinating whatsoever. Did it. One more to go. Next one wins. Peach. Peach. Yay! We did it! Let's go! Computer's gonna computer. Uh, that's for sure. That is for sure. I think I'm going to need new headphones before too long because um, mine are kind of cutting in and out here and there and headphones would be nice to hear my alerts. <laughs> So hello Jacob. Hello. Hello. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day I think I have the cult list saved Yeah, yeah Like I know What I remember kind of offhand like what quotes are there? I just don't remember like the number of things unless I look through them I do have the cult list saved <laughs> Yeah, Mario Party 5. I've decided to torture myself with Mario Party 5. What turn are we on? 19. Oh god. Yeah, I should have just... Well, at least I decided to turn off any game explanations to speed it up, so... 74! Uh, did this space. There you go. I just wanted to scream. <laughs> Yeah, Mario Party 8, yeah. Which was Mario Party 8. I think I did like the Bowser board. I think that was the Bowser board. I remember doing the Bowser board in Mario Party 8. I was like hyped up on sugar, I think, because uh, I ran out of green tea and had to drink. If I wanted a drink, I, I drank Pepsi. It's part for the course, fair enough. I have no quotes for five yet. I wonder why. Hmm. I, I do wonder why. <laughs> Alright. Um. Okay. Yeah, again, like, my secret hope is, uh. I don't wanna, I don't wanna use that because I'm gonna land on it. Where's the star? Okay, it's up top. 
Oh, that's a hammer, bro. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't care. Just take my money. Ah! Uh, this is torture. I'm tired of being ridden. <laughs> oh, I think I do remember the context of that. Oh, we've already played Frozen Frenzy. What the heck? We're already getting repeats? We are already getting repeats. What in the hell is this? I don't want repeats. Screw this. Oh, I can grab that. I need to be careful. No! Mario, you bitch! Come here. Give me. Ow! I did that on my own volition. Get away from me! Oh, Luigi, how could you? Nope! No, 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 Get away from me. Mario? Oh, shit! No! Oh, we tied! I did it! Clutch! 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 <laughs> Going in clutch with the tie! I can't... <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I did play Mario Party 7 for a long time. Because I did all of the boards essentially twice, and I did the eight-player mode by myself. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Why would you do that? I feel like if I had a chain chop orb, I would just use it on myself and spend the money. Well, I guess it's cheaper to just land on it. But also, it's like, I would just use it on myself if I had one. One of my all-time favorites. Who are we doing? Yep. Yep. <gasps> oh, man. 20. We're only on turn 20. Oh, dear God. What have, what have I done? Can someone explain to me why I am doing this? That's 69. I don't want Mario riding me. <laughs> oh man. Why? Why? How far? Sure. Why not? You're doing this because you believe in Joe Henry. I mean, this is true. I do believe in Joe Henry. Say his name and he appears. I believe in Joe Hendry. I believe in Joe Hendry. Cause you love him in London and Paris and Tokyo. America, Scotland and Canada and Mexico. They say, I believe in Joe Hendry. <sighs> I do not want to lose my money to him. I'm willing to bet a star because I don't want to lose my money to him. <sighs> I just saying because it's a funny number. I didn't know it was that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, why isn't Tessa responded to me? I was like, oh wait, she's probably streaming. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I gotta say appearance is more views than why. Yep. Yep. It, it's also the most liked video. Um, it's also the most liked video on their social. Hold on, okay. Oh, I can charge it! <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's the most liked video on Twitter, uh, since WrestleMania. And it's crazy! And, um, we watched his, like, appearance on the Busted Open, um, radio podcast, um, and, like, just kind of hearing his, like, insights on stuff. He's very smart. And also, he has, like, what, bachelor's, master's or something in, like, business and, like, marketing. So it's like, huh. No wonder. 
I should probably get some work done all the lurking like the cool kids do. Yeah, absolutely. I guess we'll do this one. I guess, because it's majority rules, but if like two vote on one and two vote on the other, then it goes to the one with zero votes. Shit, what was what's this one? Crap. Crap. What was this one? I think I just... Is there any... Okay, it's just move and swing hammer. All right, cool. You think from the Midwest I'd be used to tornadoes. I've seen the movie Twister. I've seen the movie. Oh, no! Buddy. Leave me alone, Luigi! No, you bitch! Oh. <laughs> I hate everything. I hate everything. He's how to market himself. Yep, absolutely. He's very good at it. Uh-huh, 100%. 100%. Uh, your boy is like big brain in it. Say his name and he appears. I believe in Joe Henry. I believe in Joe Henry. Because you love him in London. He had a good match with Kurt Angle several years ago. Ooh, nice, nice. Like, okay, here's the thing. I had never heard of Joe Hendry until his his theme started going viral, like kind of around WrestleMania time. Like, I had never even I didn't even know what the dude looked like. I just heard the theme. And I'm like, bro, this is catchy. And then like and then I actually like looked him up and saw what he looked like and saw the video. It's like, yo, this is actually really funny. I love this. So, what turn are we on? Can we be almost halfway now? Please? No! I hate everything! Huh. <laughs> I guess after this turn, we'll take our break. I've known about him for years, mainly because he was in the UK wrestling scene for ages. That makes sense. That definitely makes sense. Um, because, like, I don't really know much about... Because, like, he's a TNA wrestler. And for a while, like, I, I don't really know much about TNA. Like, we were probably going to start watching TNA. Um... What, what does this benefit me? This doesn't benefit me in the slightest going back down. It might actually, I don't know. No, actually, I won't. Uh, because when uh, Naomi slash Trinity went to TNA, um, kind of kept up with it a little bit. Um, and we watched a couple pay-per-views of it. Um, and, uh... <laughs> Grab throw. What? <laughs> Bruh! Mario, Mario with the cheap shot! Mario with the absolute cheap shot right there! I was just trying to learn the damn controls! Buddy! Oh, rude. Stop watching in 2013 when AJ Styles left. Fair. Fair. But yeah, trying to... We're, we're probably, I'm starting to learn, you know, the names and stuff in TNA. Um, but we're going to take our break right now, which after that cheap shot from Mario, I think I need it. Um, but hopefully things kind of speed up a little bit with no minigame explanations that, you know, may hinder or hurt me. I Hinder or hurt, that's the same thing. Uh, it may help me or hinder me, I don't know. But um, I'm going to take a break. We're going to get up, stretch, and go to the bathroom, grab a snack, do whatever it is you need to do, and we'll be... Right back.
There's no one else who loves me like you used to Some days I'm not myself There's no one I can turn to And I know All the feelings that we share are in the past mm -hmm. And I know Your relationships are never meant to last mm -hmm. It might take some time, but I'll be alright I'm moving on, I'm moving on I know times are tough, but I've had enough I'm moving on, I'm moving on Yeah, I'm broken, the door is closing 
Wanna be a part of something more than this I've lost control of it Oh And the stars reminds me of you Oh, oh, oh You left me with scars But I know that one day You'll see it through All righty, we are back. All right, let's just get back into it because I don't want to be here for much longer than I have to. <laughs> Thank you for the store link. Hey, but how long is the break? I would say no. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Really helpful. How are you doing today? Reply Hazy, try again. Yes, yeah, mood. Are you any plans for tomorrow? April? <laughs> A-ball question mark? Well, I guess we'll never know what A-ball's plans for tomorrow are. We will never find out. I don't even know what my plans for tomorrow are. I have no idea. Probably just, probably just a lot of grocery shopping. A-ball, are you there? Are you joking? Damn, A-ball, you didn't have to... You didn't have to, to come at him like that. Got any plans for tomorrow? Signs point to yes. Hmm, interesting. Alright, what's what's happening here? I have no idea. I'm just gonna go. Cause everything is just crazy right now. But what are your plans? I don't know, man. Uh Coney Island! Uh, this is in Superstars. Ice cream. Because Coney Island is, you know, Statue of Liberty stuff, and also uh, ice cream cone. There we go. Also, uh, this may or may not be a controversial. Excuse you, Luigi. Controversial. Op oh my God. Controversial opinion. Oh my God. What? Why? <gasps> Am I not allowed to get any ice cream? Am I not allowed? What? I got so screwed in the beginning. I kept getting shoved out of the way. But then when I tried to do it, they wouldn't budge. Uh, great. Great. Lovely. Do you mind your own business? I said, what are your plans? I mean, that's completely fair, actually. <laughs> Sorry if I was annoying you, buddy. I was just trying to be friendly. Yes, yeah, sure, whatever. Oh, no. I like how ice cream, how Tessa's ice cream was three of the same flavor. Again, I was trying to, to come up with, like, a, a controversial, not controversial opinion. I don't like ice cream cones. I don't like cones. A lot of it is... It's so messy. Ice cream cones get so messy, and I don't like it. I don't want my hands to get all sticky because of melted ice cream. Also, I am not a fast eater. Like, by the time I get like halfway through my cone, it's already melted and all over my hands. So I'm not much of a cone person. I'd rather have like a little bowl or a dish or like just a milkshake. That's kind of how, how I am with that. So, uh, yeah, but also, uh, what's everyone's favorite ice cream flavor? What is everyone's favorite ice cream flavor? Mine is cookies and cream. I, I do enjoy a good cookies and cream. Although, Granny, you cannot go wrong with vanilla because you can, you can build on, um, vanilla. It's literally right there, isn't it? Luigi! What is that? Oh, no. no, I need, I need, a. <clears throat> Try to do it if I remember to when it comes back around. Dinger Derby again. Great. Yeah, but what's everyone's favorite ice cream flavor? You know?
I almost tied the record. I zoned out for a second. Like, okay, the sound is, like, slightly different depending on the kind of pitch. But also, it's like, you have, like, zero time to react. If it's, like, one of those, like, stupid fast ones. It, like, happens at, like, the exact same time. So, like, the audio cue doesn't really make much sense to me. Because there's really no time to really react and pay attention. So... Anyway, I love all ice cream, but my favorite is mint chocolate chip. Ah, one of those. I am not a fan of mint. I do not like mint. Uh, so I, I, I do not like mint chocolate chip. So there we go. And then ice lolly person? Gotcha, gotcha, fair enough. I remember seeing someone say, if you like mint chocolate chip, then you might as well eat toothpaste, but like toothpaste? does taste really nice though and like some people like mint i'm not one of them i don't like mint because um i i hated the the taste of toothpaste when i was a kid i hated it and um but uh it was one of those where i probably wish that like my parents got me like different flavors of toothpaste because there's different kinds of flavors that are not just plain mint um, I, I may have been a little bit better about brushing my teeth as a kid if, like, toothpaste... If I had toothpaste that was, like, different flavors. I like mint, just not an ice cream. That is also fair. I'm just not a mint person. I'm just not. So... Oh god, the piranha plant! That one is so devastating if you land on it! Oh no! Piranha plant and the Goomba ones can be extremely devastating. Of course you're not a mint person, you're a human person. And I'm not brand new either. I am not in fresh condition. <laughs> uh, anyway. Anyway, where did it go? Okay. Oh no, that was one of my coin spots, wasn't it? Crap. Oh well, it's fine. It's fine. You're not a coin either, because they, they are minted. Ooh, I have my own chain shop capsule. I, I giggle. I giggle at that one, Jared. <laughs> for for other reasons, but I, I giggle at that one. Uh, eight ball, what's your favorite ice cream? Sure. What? Maybe maybe sherbet. Or it's a it's sherbet. It's actually sherbet. Oh, this one. Uh, you can lob them up high, or just yep. You can mix lob and low and try and get them up. Yeah, Luigi. Mario, what were you doing? Were you trying to get cocky on me? Like, nah, 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 you can't get me. Was that what you were trying to do? Well, too bad, I got you. Boom shakalaka. Or, or did you take pity on me? But no, I'm leaning towards you were getting cocky because that's how you are in Mario Party, Mario. You're like the big old heel, the cocky heel, man. Uh, exercising your creative control to try and change the narrative here, but guess what? Your narrative got changed, buddy! <clears throat> anyway. Never had a sure flavor. <gasps> Being minted coin the phrase. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super mushroom. Oh man. Got a little insane. I'm banking on all these jokes. Ha! Ha, ha, ha. What? Okay, at least I don't have to worry about landing on it right now. So thanks, question mark. I gotta remember to try the incantation. 
Because I'm forgetting. Say no! Say no! Man, I'm just having awful luck here. God, Marco 5 is so brutal right now. Luigi is like walking all over me and I'm doing my damnedest to try and stop him, but like luck is just not on my side. That one mini game was a was awful. That's rich coming from you, huh? Use Piranha Plant on yourself? Why would you have your coins? You can use every single capsule on yourself. But you have to pay the price first. But again, why would you? I'ma use Chain Chomp on myself because why wouldn't I? Right? Why wouldn't I? Like, I have the money, I'm willing to pay. Like, I'm willing to pay the price. It's 15 coins to use it on myself, 30 to steal a star, so it's 45 coins. It's still cheaper than any other game. So, there we go. Of course, I have to listen to these. I know. I still say thank you, Chencho. Thank you. That star should have been mine to begin with. It should have been mine. Mine, I say. Oh, also, I checked the mail while I was up taking the break. And all that was in the mail was a little pamphlet of Subway coupons. <laughs> like Subway, the fast food place, the sandwich place. I don't like, I, okay, here's the thing. Lacto. Lakitu takes an item, right? It's Wiggler and Flutter that take you to um, the star, I think. Later, skater, it's essentially Waterworld on ice. I think this one's also in Superstars. Up. Up. Wee! To the left, to the left. Everything you own in a box to the left. Ta da! Oh, not quite the record. <laughs> Am I getting free subway coupons in the mail? I had subway once and didn't really get what the fuss was about. I mean, that's also fair. Like, I like the smell of Subway, but I don't like the food. I don't like the sandwiches. I, I just don't. My husband likes Subway more than I do because obviously, right? I'm a picky eater. Uh, but like, I mean, we get coupons in the mail, but like, I don't think it's really what he cares for. So, here's our question of the day. Why? Why? Just, just why? Why what? I don't know why. <laughs> All right. Make sure Riley cleans up after finishing her Tito's. Uh, I gotta check what this Lakitu does. I wanna say it steals an orb. I cannot remember. Good luck trying to steal anything from me, Luigi! Ha ha ha! Ow! Ooh, oh. I, uh, had the, uh, little shockwave on my shoulder run down my arm. Guess what? Guess what? Go long! <laughs> you just wasted your money! You just wasted your money, Luigi! Ha ha ha! You like Subway? Negative 3 out of 10 would not recommend! Damn! KFC guy, huh? And also with KFC, uh, Steel's Castle from, from Player Indicated. Okay. Uh, actually, yeah, let's use it. Sure. <laughs> no bones about it. <laughs> now, the thing with, like, KFC, it's like, I haven't had KFC in a long time. I haven't had it in a long time. But, like, I will not... It's almost like we won't go out of the way to get it because, like, we don't... We don't have a KFC in our town. 
And like, KFC is like a good go get it, bring it back home thing. But like, uh, like we won't go to a KFC and sit down to eat. That's more of a go to KFC, get a bunch of chicken, bring it back home, sit down and eat. Like, I think, I want to say the last time I even had KFC. And not because it was, like, bad or anything, but it's just, the opportunity is never there. The last time I had KFC was probably 2013. I ordered KFC online, although not nearly as much as I used to. Yeah, and it's like... Oh, we're going random. This is Random Ride. I love this one. This one's great. Essentially, Day of the Races, but a little bit more influenced. All right, greetings to you all. Luckiest will win the race. So, please select your machine. Uh, so-so, I suppose. Nothing's right. Perfect conditions. Almost guarantee victory. And miracles do happen. I mean... Miracles, right? Because it's a miracle I'm even playing this. And it's a miracle we have lasted as long as I did. I mean, we have officially lasted longer than the first attempt. Because the first attempt was a 20 turn board, and we are already past 20 turns. So, this is like an extras game, I know, but nope, it's a battle game. Because it, it's random. No! Damn it. And like, it says, like, the name of the vehicle influences how well it's gonna do, but there are times where I've seen, like, the, the so so, I suppose, win it all, so. But yeah, I mean, this does feel like an extras game, but I've also spent a lot of time playing this one before. Like, mini game mode, just played over and over and over again. Wow, you couldn't even give me the pity coin? Rude game. Rude. I guess this game doesn't believe in miracles. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> Dual capsule. What, Riley? You want to go play? You want to go play? And like, okay, my feelings on Mario Party 5, it's like, I'm... You know, sometimes I like, I genuinely enjoy my time with Mario Party 5, but like, you know, it's one of those where it's like, it's a train wreck waiting to happen. You know, like the hard AI are kicking my butt. They really are. The hard AI is kicking my butt. <laughs> but I mean, I'm here for the entertainment to bring you entertainment. I'm not here for your entertainment. That's kind of the opposite of what I was trying to say. <laughs> but I mean, like, it's Mario Party. I haven't been to McDonald's since 2021 because it's always crowded and I don't want to go over 10 minutes. Wait over 10 minutes for a tiny burger. The food does taste good, it's just not very filling. That's fair. Shall I throw one's orbs around, or castles around? I don't have one, so this will be fine. Ooh, I have the dual caps on them. I, get I can't eat at McDonald's anymore, it gives me stomach ache. Fair. It's kind of how my husband is, but also, whenever we eat it, we're in the comfort of our own home, and plus, he doesn't have a gallbladder. <laughs> so that doesn't help. With like a greasy McDonald's food. Where are we going? Oh. All right. Uh, I went there before going to the cinema. I had to watch Black Widow, which I thought was a decent movie. Nice, nice. Uh, but yeah, like, I mean, there have been times where I've waited a long time for my food. Um, growing up, ha, ha, ha. Growing up in my hometown, we had literally the world's worst Sonic. 
because there have been times where I would go there, park in a stall, order like two or three milkshakes, right? Two or three milkshakes, ice cream. That's it. And like 10 minutes after I place my order, there will be someone in a stall next to me. There will be someone in a stall next to me that will pull up 10 minutes after I order. And they will order a whole bunch of food. Like three bags worth of food. Nice. Um, and they will get their food, their three bags of food, before I get my three milkshakes. And they show up 10 minutes after I do. So I'm like waiting damn near an hour for three milkshakes and they wait like 20 minutes for their food. That is, that was absolutely ridiculous. World's worst Sonic and Sarah Jacob, but Sonic 06! I mean, yes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm kind of glad the, the Sonic drive-thru in my hometown has now been shut down for years. Um, and even the one in the town that I currently reside in uh, used to be regarded as one of the best in the nation, but then in like the last five or six years, it kind of fell off. Cause like, I... Um, there was the time on my anniversary I went to Sonic to get ice cream and mozzarella sticks and I waited over 40 minutes to get warm ice cream. So there was that. So, uh, yeah. When does Sonic need to drive through? He can... He can pass the more than vehicles, I know. Uh, yeah. I, I enjoy going to Sonic because, like, you know, the drinks and they have the happy hour half-price shakes between 2 and 4 p.m. Which is nice, um, because it was something that me and my sister did when they first introduced it. We did it a lot, especially, like, after school. Because, like, school ended, like, 3.15, 3.30-ish, and, uh, we would go to Sonic if we didn't have, like, any sports after school. We'd go to Sonic, the happy hour, get our drinks, and, uh, that would be the thing. Because, like, since, like, middle school, high school, first year of high school, um... Uh, it was always cherry, vanilla, cream, Dr. Pepper. That's pretty much what I'd always gotten. It's been a staple that I get at Sonic for a long time. I've always wanted to go to Wendy's. Wendy's is great. Um, haven't been to Wendy's in a while. Have not been to Wendy's in a long time. Not like a long time, but a while. Um, but there's a, there, <laughs> me and my husband have this friend of ours, um, anytime, like, we, um, like, co coordinate, like, a hangout, like, going out to eat, it's always Wendy's. <laughs> so, like, Wendy's is so synonymous with this friend of ours. <laughs> Willflower, I believe this is Mache. Again, any mashing records are set with the Turbo Controller. God, my elbow was hurting. <laughs> I had my controller set on the floor. That was probably not a good. Ah, <sighs> ow, that hurt my elbow. I'm sure, there was uh, no Wendy's in the UK, but it turns out uh, there's a few of them. I try it. I do like Wendy's as chicken nuggets. I will get sauce, uh, the sweet and sour sauce with uh, Wendy's chicken nuggets. Like, Wendy's sweet and sour sauce? Good. McDonald's sweet and sour sauce? Gross. I don't know what it is with McDonald's sauces. I just do not like them. Because, like, give me a honey mustard, say, like, at an Applebee's. Or, like, a sit-down restaurant. And I will dip, you know, chicken tenders in it and actually enjoy it because it's really sweet. The honey mustard at McDonald's is way too tangy for me. It's way too tangy and gross for me. <laughs> because of so many, so many years of McDonald's um, messing up 
my my sauce re requests because they always ask you know what sauce would you like and I always say honey like pure honey and a lot of the time growing up they always gave me honey mustard because it's like oh honey honey mustard they just want that and uh yeah um I even like tried it I tried to deal with it a couple times and it was just gross it was just way too gross uh, so, yeah, never again. But, like, a restaurant, honey mustard, fine by me. Um, but, like, McDonald's sweet and sour sauce, no, way too gross for me. But, like, Wendy's sweet and sour sauce, it's actually delicious. So, I must just have beef with McDonald's sauces, except for the honey, because you really can't screw up honey. Like, regular, pure Ah, oh, fuck. The realization when I landed on that space. Oh, that was, that hurt. That one hurt a little bit. Paul Bearer called the Undertaker Wendy. <laughs> nice. Um, maybe they just don't have honey. I mean, I get pure honey, like, damn near all the time. I didn't get any last night with my nuggets, but. Mmm. Oh crap, what's this one? Oh, the green team's together. Oh, okay, I think you need to like feel the rumble and catch it. Okay, I think that's what it is. The only person I know who considers honey a sauce? Honey is a dipping sauce. Apparently that's the minority. That's what I grew up with. The biggest reason why we carried honey is because McDonald's always screwed up um, our, our drink orders. Luigi has been screwing this up. Please don't screw this up, Luigi. Thank you, Luigi. Finish. It's like Swiss rolls. They are baby cakes. I will die on that hill. I will die on that hill. They are baby cakes. I don't care. That's what I grew up with, okay? What? Cracker? Yeah. They're baby cakes. Again, I will die on that hill. I only mentioned the Little Debbie Swiss Rolls because that's what I'm talking about. But those are baby cakes. <laughs> I literally don't care. And they are delicious, dang it. Because, of course, that's what I got for uh, my kiddos' uh, snacks when I had to bring those last week. Playing old cakes. Yeah. I mean, like, I don't even like necessarily know where like baby cakes came from. I want to say like my that's what my dad called them when he was little. I don't know how far back it goes, but I know I think that's what my dad called them when he was little. And then it just kind of carried over. And like, if I talk to anybody like in my family, like any of my siblings, and I mention like, oh hey, get a box of baby cakes, they will know exactly what I'm talking about. So. Yeah, they are delicious. Yeah, cracker. Yeah. All right, where? God, this game is turning insane. Where baby cakes come from? Well, you see. <laughs> oh goodness. I mean, I am not saying that out loud with with my children in earshot. So they're both in the living room right now. <laughs> Granted, my oldest has sat in a room with a bunch of adults playing Cards Against Humanity when she was like three or four. That's happened before. <laughs> and granted, Riley has... There's evidence out there of Riley saying bitches. So, <laughs> so there's that too. Oh, uh, warp pipe. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Nugget cracker. And she's eating a, an animal cracker. Like we have like a kind of a, a bigger like jar container. I think it's more of a container. It's a little little teddy bear container. 
Cause they're- it's cute, okay? Oh, we gotta match! We gotta match him. Okay, you gotta press A. A uh, gold monkey can be returned to anyone. Brown. Brown monkey. Oh, uh, gold! Yay! Monkey! Finish. What, what do you mean I tied with Mario? What do you mean? <laughs> I like this monkey one. Yeah, the minigames are, are fun and fine, you know? Like, I'd say a good, like, 80% of the minigames are or fun and enjoyable. It's just the boards I don't like. But again, what do you mean I tied with Mario? What do you mean? Oh, if I had a nickel for every time I tied with Mario in a minigame, I'd have two nickels. <laughs> it's not very many, but it's weird it happened twice. <laughs> ah. I don't want to tie with Mario. Mario's a jerk. He's mean. I don't like him. I'll take the great Gonzalez, you know, baby face, world champion. I'll take him. Go get a drink. What do you do? Oh no, not the Goomba. The Goomba like trades coins with whoever you land on. That's not good either. I mean, Mario wanted to go over, so he has to win, I guess, so. Well, yeah, at least the Great Gonzalez is a baby face and did things the right way. Sorry, I had to talk to the kiddos. Ah, uh, where is everyone? Mm. Now I'll save the warp pipe, I guess. <sighs> oh, I could. Oh, the star is <sighs> star is there, but but it, it's yeah, the temptation is there. Uh, is the, yep, the temptation is there. Give me a star. Give me a Luigi star. Give me Luigi star. Th that doesn't work for me, paper brother. <laughs> yeah, again, a uh, Rock Hawk is based off a of Hulk Hogan. So, which, you know, makes sense because it's like the pro wrestling chapter. And, like, it was my favorite chapter even before, like, learning a lot about, like, wrestling and, like, the ins and outs of it, so. So it's it's really cool to, like, look at it from a, a different perspective, like, an actual, like, wrestling fan perspective. What, Riley? You want to play? Yeah, you want to play. Uh, Hydra Stars, I think we, we're in boats and we gotta drive. Shut up and drive, drive. I think it's A to accelerate. Okay. You gotta go through the gates in order, so pay attention. What do you mean I didn't hit it? Buddy, that's just so rude. That is absolutely rude. Yeah, drift. Tokyo drift. If it wasn't. Hi. Go play, Riley. Riley. Hi. 
So that's your Mario Kart. It wasn't working when I first tried it. It didn't occur to me to hold B. Yeah. I think I only really played Super Mario Kart once or twice, just as something to do. And just kind of sitting, doing nothing, didn't really have anything to do for the day, evening, whatever it was. So I was like, hmm, yeah, sure, let's, let's try it out. So... I am so freaking salty right now over that. That's ridiculous. I got so screwed. I'm getting so screwed in these mini games. It's insane. Uh, like, they're just so ruthless for like no reason. Oh, but I am here to torture myself in front of everyone, so ta da. Also, I don't think I took that hydrate and posture check, so thank you again, Jared. I can't remember if I said anything about it, but I'm, I'm so sorry. But I got it. I got it. We're good now. What turn are we on? 32, and it's been two and a half hours. I think it is kind of speeding up a little bit without the explanations. So, but like we haven't really seen much of Mario Party 5 on stream, but you know what? That doesn't hurt my feelings. Uh, ooh, one more Y. Star is there. Oh, hey, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. That's why I was holding on to it. Nice. Yeah, let's go! Hey, but what's your favorite restaurant? Yes. Okay, now restaurant is a word I can never spell correctly on the first try. Like, a lot of the time, like even like autocorrect fails me because it thinks I'm trying to spell restraint. And no, that's incorrect. I'm trying to spell restaurant. It like auto corrects the dumbest things to something like not what I'm talking about, but it's like, dude, the context clues are there for restaurant. Why won't you auto correct it to restaurant? I am not typing restraint. Ugh. That issue is before in the past. Give me Hotel Kumba. Well, I can get Pushy Penguin Redemption. A food critic. I know. Hmm. <laughs> Trying to push Mario for- Excuse me! Haha! -ha. That's what you get, son. Uh, here. Thank you. Oh no! Oh no no no! Oh man! Oh jeez. How? How did I live? No! Man! Live! 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 Yay! I lived! The green team lived! What's your favorite food? The answer is within yourself! <laughs> oh! Um, eight ball? Eight ball? Uh, I think you got some splaining to do eight ball. Eight ball? <laughs> doing? Peach, what are you doing? Well, it's having what you are having, I guess so. <laughs> oh, goodness. This has been crazy. Sorry, I wanted to adjust my mic a little bit without it being too obnoxious, at least. What are you doing, Mario? Mario, what are you doing? Explain yourself. Why? What are you doing? Like, I think there's just something about Mario Party 5 that just makes me not pay attention because, like, it's like, oh, here's where the star is going, and I, like, never remember where the star is. Whoops. Knocking over bottles. What am I doing? Goodness. 
Okay. Boom shakalaka, what are we doing? I have to pay the toll, don't I? I do. Oh, what's your favorite pizza? Mice pepperoni. Ha 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 no. Oh, you don't like pizza? <laughs> I mean, I, I like pizza, but like, again, picky eater, cheese, but also I like pineapple. Pineapple. I could just eat straight pineapple on pizza, you know, nothing else. But I also like uh, Italian sausage on pizza. That one's also good. Why this one again? Can I just refuse? Can I just refuse? Stop. Well, I get money, I guess. Finish. I guess I get money. And does it just refuse? Reply Hazy, try again. <laughs> oh, like pepperoni mushrooms? Nice. My husband's more of a pepperoni guy. My oldest loves pepperoni. Um. But, uh, yeah. I, I, I cheese, preferably, but, like, if, if I can get, like, a straight pineapple on pizza, I'll do it. There was one time I was judged at a, at a pizza place uh, for wanting just plain pineapple on, on the pizza. I was, like, straight judged. Like, the waiter was, like, giving me looks, man. <laughs> it was, uh, well, it was an adventure. Uh, I think it was a specific time where it was um, me and my husband, uh, my friend Jacob, who has been in chat for a second, he was lurking last I saw him, um, Jacob and uh, his uh, wife, then girlfriend, uh, and then this other, uh, other friends that we know that were married, getting divorced, or are divorced, I don't know what it is with them, but like it was like the six of us and like all the, the kiddos involved, because there was our two and then their two. Um, Jacob doesn't have any kids, uh, but it's like our kids and then our other friends' kids. Yeah, it was it was like us, and I think I got my own like little personal pizza with just pineapple on it, and like the waiter was like judging me hardcore. No! Stop! Why? Leave me alone, piranha! Uh <laughs> Why? Pineapple is too sweet for me. There. Uh, ooh, panda pinball's fun. Um, uh, right, you just gotta get food, not judge it. What an asshole, I know. Stop. Wee. Also, uh, if you hit the Bowser to zero, you get multiple. Look at us. Pinball. Why do they have more than us? Oh, there's still a lot. Oh, there's plenty of time. I didn't even know there was a record in this game. I had no idea. Oh my god, we are completely uncoordinated. Oh my god, this is insane. Wow, that was awful. <laughs> um, but yeah, it really is a high round too. But uh, yeah, that was like the last time um, like we had went to like this particular place and that was when I got judged hardcore, pretty sure. Uh, but I do remember that was like the first time uh, Jacob's uh, wife had met these other friends of ours and she was like not impressed by them and you know what I don't blame her <laughs> I don't blame her we were kind of talking about that because uh, I know that came up in conversation between me and my husband the other day because we we're talking like what was the last time we uh, <laughs> went to this restaurant uh, and like these friends of ours were not great and um, just to give an idea, you know, you always hear about like all these terrible friends. Like once you stop reaching out first, you never hear from them again. 
The last time I talked to this particular friend was in January this year. And they have never reached out to me, like hardly ever. So it's like the moment you stop reaching out, you never hear from them ever again. Those are kind of bad people. Like even like a text, you know, here and there, it's like, hey, you doing okay? And like, sometimes people are busy, life happens, I get it. But like to go like damn near six months without hearing literally anything, Kind of rude, not gonna lie. Um, it's like how some places refuse to sell well done steak. I don't understand that. If it's not how it's supposed to be cooked, then why is it literally called well done? Make it make sense. I mean, most people do not like well done steak, but like, people if people want to eat it, let them eat it. You know? Ah. Uh... Literally right there. No. I keep losing my money to that piranha plant space. I need to fix that, but I cannot get the right capsules to fix it. I don't understand the steak differences. From my understanding, um, rare is a lot of pink. Medium rare is like a, a good balance between pink and, you know, pink and cooked all the way through. Um, well done is like no pink whatsoever. So most people get their steaks, um, well, no, 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 no. Most people get their steaks medium rare. Um, like, I'm not much of a steak person, but, like, I get it. Riley F. Toast. Thank you. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, most people, at least here in the U.S., get their steaks medium rare. That's majority people. Uh, well, that's the only one I've ever had because it's the only name that makes sense to me. The others are just random words. I, I think also, like, flavor has something to do with it, too. Because I think, like, the more you cook it, like, it'll- it can get burnt. So... But, like, if I were to, like, order a steak, I would order medium rare. But, like, that's like a cut of steak, you know? But, like, a hamburger? Yeah, I don't want any pink in my hamburger. I am too scarred from, like, my own attempt at making a hamburger years ago that I got food poisoning from. <laughs> so... <laughs> medium rare is most common one. I know. I know, make that make sense. Miracle capsule. Uh oh. That's a that's a no bueno for me. But yeah, may, it's like rare, which is a lot of pink. Medium rare, which is a, a, enough pink, and like well done is like zero pink. But also, I feel like a lot of things could go wrong with like well done because you can definitely overcook it. I think. Like, I'm not, like, an expert on steaks. I know my dad cooks steaks and stuff. Well, like, that's just kind of my knowledge there. Okay, speaking of the burger, you definitely done something wrong. I, I think it depends on the burger, but, like, for me, a hamburger, like, I don't want any pink in my hamburger. <laughs> I just don't. And also, I think, like, with hamburger and, like, a steak, it's just different kinds of... It's just different cut of the meat. Um... Uh... I've had food poisoning and COVID at the same time, which actually made both bearable. Oh man, that that had been rough. Thank you for the hydrant and the posture checks, others. Thank you, thank you. The only, the thing with um the thing with the capsules is you can only throw them forward. You can only throw them forward, you cannot throw them backwards. Which does kind of suck. Oh, I'm running out of money. You know what, this is fine. If I'm running out of money, I should just take some money. Oh, I would like some money, please. Give me money. Uh, 17? 
I mean, it's fine, I guess. 17, right here. I haven't said that in a minute. Two chain hubs right next to each other, I just realized. Yeah, because Mario, this one was here from the beginning. The one on the split path is the one Mario placed. Yeah, so... So the one I just landed on had been there from the very beginning. Chomp Rob! We gotta lure a chain chomp to a place, right? Is that this one? Yeah. This one's kind of fun. Uh, chain chomp can only go in a straight line. So be mindful of where you're placing your chain chomp. Bring it on home. Alright, and... I think it's a straight shot. Yeah! Let's go! Olé! I love it! <laughs> oh, man, it's so good. I'm a a lot of chain chomps. It, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Ooh, seven, seven, seven. Let's go. Hi, Riley. Oh, I missed what she got. I looked away for a second. Why am I the only one landing on that piranha plant? Luigi was the one that threw it there. Chan oh god. Oh jeez. Oh yeah, the chance time is a capsule. That's right. Like literally everything is a capsule. Oi. get confused as to like what these computers are doing. I mean like with a 50 turn game we're filling up the, the board pretty well. What do I have? Oh yeah, I have a boat. Sure. Because that's at a, a crossroads right there. It's an intersection. Why not? Why not? Take a crazy chance. Oh, it's there. What do I, I have a seven. What? Nine? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, hey, I can get it. Let's go. If I can get it, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> if I have the ability to obtain this, I will. Yes, please. Give me a star. Riley, what are you doing? Later, you're fine right now. And it's up there. Okay. Oh, I mean, we're turning it around I, I kind of decently, I guess. I don't know. Uh, something fun, please. <sighs> Bruh. Bruh, I don't want this. I don't want this. I got bullied last time. Like, what? Like, I am underneath the damn shadow! It will not give it to me! Like, I get bullied! Like, look at this! Thank goodness. Like, I... I am getting straight up bullied. B excuse me! They're not moving. I hate everything about this. I hate literally everything about this. I was getting straight bullied. Like, I run to a shadow, I stop, but then someone else just pushes me out of the way. That's absolutely ridiculous. And then when I try to do it to someone else, I can't push them. That's ridiculous. Turn are we on? 
38 out of 50, okay. Peach, listen. Peach, please. Peach, please. Oh, if you use it on- Oh, I, does it just automatically pick you? If you use it on yourself? Three coins. What does this mean? What does this mean? This means everything for Luigi! If you throw it and land on it, you have to pick everybody, or if it's just, it's you. Or if you use it on yourself, you have to be involved. Okay. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense as like a desperation tactic. But also like, why? <laughs> Count down. Shit, what was this one? Oh, I think I have to stop it closest to zero. Five, four, three, two. Damn it! Damn it! I should have waited. I should have waited. I'm so angry now. I just lost a fucking star. Damn it! I'm so angry. <laughs> Why did I decide to do this today? Why did I do this? Why did I do this? Someone please explain. Uh, yeah, yeah. I need help. I need help. Somebody help me. Why did I do this to myself? Please. That's the second star I've lost in a duel. Emotional damage. I feel that. I feel that. I think I'm just more angry at myself because it's like, I, I know how to play that one. It might just... I think my thing is I have not sat down and like really played Mario Party 5 in a long time. So that might be why, but also I just hate everything. Why did Tessa do this to herself? Defiantly. I mean, yes, that's not wrong. <laughs> that is not wrong. I just wanted to torture myself, I guess. Okay. I don't have any or capsules to lose. Nah, it starts out there. It is. Okay, so... And there's also red space, so sure, why not? Why not? Nothing happened. I just got squished by a snowman in, like, the beginnings of summer. <laughs> In the beginnings of summer, getting squished by snow. And that probably has to feel kind of decent to be squished by snow in the in the hot summer. Hot summer, a hot, hot summer. Hot summer, a hot, hot normal double. Hi. Dance. Okay, you can dance. Love in London and Paris and Tokyo, America, Scotland and Canada and Mexico. They say, I believe in Joe Henry. I believe in Joe Henry. <laughs> oh, I'm having a ball here. Same. <laughs> you know, nothing like winning a minigame singing about Joe Henry, you know. Nothing like it. <laughs> All right. Dance. Dance. Say yes, <sighs> Well, I gotta have something to kind of somewhat keep my sanity if I'm playing Mario Party 5. 
Uh, what are you doing there? Okay, that's a that's a klepto. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're gonna go to me? Hi, hi, Peachy. Still has that. Are oh, you gonna throw it away? What do you mean you're gonna throw it away? I would laugh so hard if he gets another one. Okay. <laughs> I would have laughed so hard if he just got another miracle. Uh, I think I, I mentioned what the miracle uh, capsule does. Um, what it does is uh, by itself it does nothing, but if you collect three of them, if you have three miracle capsules in your inventory at once, then all of the stars from the person in first place go to the person in last place. But it's like really rare to do. I've not seen it with my own eyes, but I have seen other people have it happen. So, so there you go. Whereas like I had never actually seen the Bowser suit used in in um, Mario Party 4. Like, I pulled some extreme divine intervention for that to happen. Oh, paratrooper, great. Cool. False advertising, because I thought I was going to get all those coins, but no, you're like, I'm just taking everything away. What's the damn point, then, of using it? Something decent, please? Is this the fishing one? Yeah. <laughs> uh. Dang it. Okay. Well, I'm not using hacks this time. Because I haven't gotten any golds yet. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, where am I going? I've lost track of myself! No! Oh, shoot. Luigi. Luigi's hacking. Luigi is hacking. <sighs> Luigi hacked. He 100% hacked. Like, what the absolute hell was that? Hey, Ball, have you seen three miracle capsules? Are you joking? Have you seen the Bow State Mario Pay 5? Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> oh, man. But, like, the Bowser suit in Mario Pay 4 was absolutely hilarious. Because, of course, I would do all of that work to be in control of Waluigi to make him use the Bowser suit only to roll a 1 with it. Like, that that's really funny to me. Another chain chomp. Fifteen. Use thirty to steal. I. You can sit. I don't care. Hidden block, buddy. Why? Why are we doing this? Mhm. Mm yeah, that's your baby Ouija over there. A uh, duel. Okay. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. I would like my star back. I would very much. Also, Peach has a chain chomp herself. She may or may not use it on herself. I don't know. But I am taking my star back, thank you very much. Because <sighs> in my brain, I forgot how to play that damn game. Stole a star. Congratulations, Chain Chomp. Congratulations, you did it. Hooray. Riley, what are you doing? Crash? Yay. <laughs> Yay, there's just there's so many stars around. There's just so much going on. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a battle. 50, 50. Do it, you won't. Do it, you won't. 
20. That's like all my money. <laughs> There we go, I want a redo. I want a redo of this. Cause last time I got screwed. Thank you. Thank you. I took back what was rightfully mine. Take that, Luigi. <gasps> Thank you. I, I want my money because I've lost so much money. <laughs> I've lost so much money already. She's still from... Does she still from Mario? I was like half paying attention. Because <laughs> I mean, it wasn't me because I didn't feel my controller vibrate. It's kind of funny <laughs> if that was the case. Peach went from Mario? Oh, she, so she did. She did. So, so when Peach lands on it, she did. When Peach lands on it, she has no coins to lose. But when I land on it, I have everything to lose. What is up with this? And I chose to play Mario Party 5 today? Dang. <laughs> what is even happening anymore? Uh, okay. Where am I? Am I on that car? It's the last I remember. I am. Okay, I see. I mean, yeah. Peach went for Mario? Confusing. But also, it's like... I mean, I had reasons to go after Peach, but I, I couldn't have. I could have just stolen Luigi Star. Because he has the second most. But, like, I wanted revenge on the star taken from me. <laughs> So, cause I, I think I got my star back from Luigi in that duel that I had with him, the the bazooka one, which I think oddly enough I think that was the uh, the mini game that was about to be played when the game crashed the first time uh, last year. Uh, sure, I can put that there, I guess. I guess. Eh. Ah. Uh. What's the faster way? Uh, one, two, three... I think that's the faster way. Sure. I will use the capsule machine. I'll get a magic of a capsule. Okay. I swear. Oh! <laughs> oh, man, that could have been a disaster if I had rolled one more. That could have been bad. Evolving fire. Is that what we've already played? I think we've already played this one. Yeah. It's the same exact setup, too. Stop. It's fire. Somebody call 911. Somebody called 911. Yep, yeah, we, we just got burned. <laughs> you better have burn heal. Oh, I don't. I do not have burn heal. Okay. 
I don't. <gasps> I... <sighs> Another piranha plant? I don't want to deal with this. I don't like those piranha plants because I'm, I'm a coin hoarder when it comes to Mario Party and those piranha plants are so devastating for me. <laughs> they are so devastating. I landed on one like what three different times already and like the same exact one too. But then like when someone else lands on it they have zero coins so they can't lose anything. I hate this game sometimes. I hate it so much. <laughs> All right, up there. Yeah. Coin block. You're welcome, Mario. What can I say except you're welcome? Cause I put that there. Not a lot of star spaces I'm noticing. Yeah, a lot of them are like so close together. That's, you know, Mario Party 5, I guess. Okay, you are dueling. Probably going to duel me for my star and I'm probably going to lose. Mm-hmm. Yep. I mean, if I do win, I'll take your money. I don't care. But I'm probably going to lose. 100%. That seems to be the trend. Sky Survivor. Uh. I'm trying to remember. Start. Is it just a. Move and survive? Okay. Oh, it's. Okay. Airplane. Good to know. Good to know. Whoa! Oh, I got hit. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not. You're not. Ha ha! I win. Take that, Luigi. I would say your princess is in another castle, but that that's to Mario. Uh, that would be directed towards Mario. <laughs> if I were to venture, I guess. Yay! I took your money. Haha. -ha. Take that, loser. Does the L on your hat stand for loser? Wow, that was really mean. Your get is in another mansion! Yes, I'm using that. Get rid of this, please, before I roll a one and lose everything. <laughs> it's like I knew. It's like I knew. Uh, Mario would be great. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's like I 100% knew what I was going to do. Thank you, thank you. I, I felt that victory. I felt it. I felt it in my jellies. <laughs> All right, something good, please. Uh, this is one that Mario got cocky on me, right? Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Mario, please move. Thank you. Wow, I am- this is awful. What is happening? I like smoked him last time. What is going on here? What even happened? I was like getting nothing! What the hell are you playing, Mario Party 5? Because I, I hate myself. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> anyway. 
And also, I didn't realize Mario Party 5 had seven boards, so my math would have been wrong trying to calculate everything. Peach, what are you doing? Well, at least if I have a choice. I just need to remember that that specific one is the uh, piranha plant. She's absolutely loving it. Nope. Ah, uh, get this. Because uh, I've been sitting over here thinking for a long time that Mario Party 5 had six boards. No, it has seven. And I don't want to miscalculate and end up playing Mario Party 5 on my birthday if it allows for it. Which I am surprised we haven't had any issues with the disc yet. I am honestly surprised. We've gone... We've gone... How many turns? And why did you go for... You know what? I'm not questioning anything anymore. They're not going for me, so... That's fine. That's fine. What turn are we on? I mean, we've already lasted longer than the last time. By a long shot. We're not quite... Okay, 43. Ugh. Oh, that's gross. Maybe I should just, if I want to do 50 turns of all the GameCube my price, maybe I should just go no minigame explanations. Maybe I should just do that for six and seven. My pick five is tied from, no it's not. No it is not. I will immediately tell you no because the first Mario Party has eight. I will tell you that. Unless I miscounted. <laughs> Unless I miscounted, uh, yeah, Mario Party 1 has 8. And yes, why wouldn't I use this on myself? Second most. Yeah, there you, there you go. What is the other one that has 7? Island Tour. I haven't played Island Tour in a while. I should probably do that sometime, just to play on my own, probably, because I, I got it for Christmas in 2013 with my 3DS from my dad. Um, and I, I played a lot of it sitting in my dorm room in college. And I remember having a lot of fun with it. So. I am left with nice coins. Yes, please. <laughs> Klepto. Okay. Money! I like money. <laughs> Yay! Uh, the most have six apart from ten, and DS have five. Gotcha. Yeah, the majority have six. That's probably why I thought... I mean, that's exactly why I thought Mario Party 5 had six boards. And also, I do not remember Undersea Dream. I keep forgetting that exists. I think it's B to punch him, right? Start. Yeah. I love Hotel Goomba. I love these puzzles. It's one of my favorites. Uh... All right, <laughs> that was easy. Okay. Uh... There we go. Ta-da! I did it. All stars. Hmm. All right. Yeah. I'm glad I I thought that because like I think even with Mario Party Five having seven boards instead of six, if I started this on Tuesday, I I still don't think I'd be playing Mario Party Five on my birthday because that's what I want to avoid <laughs> at all costs. <laughs> Seven has the most mini games. Yeah, Seven's got a lot of mini games. But now with a uh, Super Mario Party Jamboree, got 110 new mini games. That's exciting to me. Please go up. Why would you do that? <laughs> Come on, you chicken. I mean, I think the star is that way. I think it's up at the top. I think. I 
think it's up at the top. That's why they're going that way. There's some more up there. <laughs> Again, I can never remember where the damn star is. Okay, it is up there. Okay. Uh... Actually, hold on. Sure, I'll spend the money. Now spend money to make money. I guess, I don't know. Take me away, a secret place, a sweet escape. Also, it says a hundred. Ooh, okay. That really didn't do much for me, if I'm being honest. Go that way. Mm. Hi, Luigi. Hello. Hi, you're probably gonna get the star next turn. But you know, I would not be surprised in the slightest. Oh, hey, I found a minigame. 50. Do it, you won't. 50, 50. 20 again. Uh. Okay. This gets us our, our roulette. I got nothing. Wow. Well, I got sevens. <laughs> that did nothing for me. Wow. <laughs> that did nothing for me. Uh, I think Battle Money Roller is from my pre four, like the exact same. Yeah. Yeah. Please. I think. Yeah, at least after the uh, the the literal and uh, figurative emotional roller coaster that was Toad's Midway Madness. Um, part of me is really glad the battle mini games are taking place of the regular mini games because having them just interrupt the flow of everything it's not great. <laughs> what if this game was rushed? Could be. It kind of feels like that. But I mean, like, mini games are fine. And, like, games use reused assets a lot. Because, I mean, look at the new Zelda game. It, it's got the Link's Awakening, you know, engine and graphics and stuff. And it, it's not a bad thing. And look at me. Did I call it or did I call it? I said Luigi was gonna get this, and he did. I mean, what? When did Mario Party 4 come out? Was it 2001? That's just plain rude. <laughs> that is just absolutely freaking rude. And why does Peach have 316? I don't need Peach whipping my ass. I don't need that in my life. What in the heck? I'm gonna land on our tie. Every damn time. Every single time. Ugh. O2, okay. So O2. O3? I can't remember if it was if, if it was answered that my Pi 5 came out in O3 or not. And then 604 and then 705. Because 7 was 5. Because I got it. Christmas 05. Mine. <laughs> what? Excuse you? God, the, the depth is awful. I cannot... Okay, I need to get out of here. Oh, come on. Turn away. No, I'm losing. No. I stopped. Why did I do this to myself? Please. No. Wow. I I slipped. I slipped. 
So you're up to like 13 months. Ooh, gotcha. Gotcha. So I mean, they're pumping out Mario parties like one year apart from, you know, one another. So it's like, hmm. But I mean, like, Honestly, the difference from five to six is really staggering sometimes. Hey, we're finally here! It's been quite the journey. Hey, five turns, love. Let's make them interesting. Uh, yeah, hey, it's me. I'm in first, Luigi's in second, Mario in third, and Peach is dead last. Yoshi's gonna beat all of you. Let's hope. <laughs> Let's hope. All right, Speech, I'm gonna give you a chance to turn things around. Strength, spin the wheel. Oh, jeez. All right, well, five star spaces. No way no one can guess what the results will be. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, Triple X on a sensor, so it'll be a duel. It's not quite standard, but like, hey, you know. So that really shakes things up, jeez. So we have five star spaces at a time. And now, with the standard of landing on the same space as your opponent, you get to duel them. Okay. Two. Okay. Ah, <sighs> that's gonna get... Oh man, if there weren't already enough stars on the board. Oh man. Oh, oh man. Oh man. I can word. <laughs> yeah, that's essential. Just where it was two seconds ago. So, what you're saying is there's only like six available star spaces at a time. That's what you're saying, game. Which is kind of really dumb. <sighs> So, uh, ugh. It's just gonna go back to where it was, isn't it? Yep. There's only six available star spaces, huh? This confirms it. I feel like there's way more than that. In, like, other Mario parties? I feel like... I don't know. Hey, this event, it really exposes the board. It really does. It really does, and it's really sad. And like, Toy Dream is not my favorite, obviously, right? But like, it's the quote-unquote first board, and so I, I gotta play it first. Like, damn. It's just boring. You know, I probably could have rolled this one without help. What is that one? I have no idea what this one is. Okay, it's Hammer Bro. That's not too bad. <laughs> That's not too bad. I'd rather lose ten than half. Honestly. Because I get three back. So this is fine. Everything is fine! Uh, if it was five and then it decreased after each one and collect, I wouldn't mind it. Yeah, but no, there's just five star spaces at a time. Oh, I get a redo of this one, I guess. All right, here we go. Start! Oh, dang it! Ah, uh, I should have hit a touch earlier. Just a just a touch earlier. Cause I think like your cue is like the the barrels and the stuff on like the outsides. That's how kind of you can tell how close he is. But, like, there's also the, the time it takes for you to actually turn around and shine your flashlight on them. So, last four turns! End the suffering, please. <laughs> End it faster, again. I chose to do this to myself, it's fine. Thank you. It's just three. It's fine. It's fine. Mario. 
Mario, why you gotta show me up like that? Why you gotta do that? Uh, what is in the bank right now? Fifteen. Okay, that's not the worst thing in the world. Honestly, like... Putting a Koopa Bank in, like, a spot where, like, everyone has to pass through there is such a smart thing to do. It's, like, toll road. <laughs> you have to pay the toll. Or you, like, block a, an entire pathway. Wow, a twister moving one star space to one of the, the only other blank one. Wow, what a devastating maneuver. Ugh. God. Yeah, what a devastating maneuver that is. I think the five star spaces at a time really makes the twister useless. It really makes it useless. Yeah, I feel like some of the things were just definitely not thought through. In Mario Party 5, and it's really showing. Yay. I did it. I put the star back up there. Cool. I did it. Hooray. That way. Because, I mean, where are all the possible star spaces? Go to them. It's essentially what it is. Hi. What's up? I'm gonna get another star. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, star. You'll probably show up back there in like a couple of turns. And we're back there where it was. <laughs> hey, red space. Losing money. Hooray. <laughs> Hooray for losing money. Something good, please. Mario Max. What the frick was this one? Mario Max, Mario Max, Mario Max. Oh, 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 I remember this one. Let me double check. Controls. Fire beam, shock beam. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, get away from me. Away. Come on, can I? Okay, it's just fine. I am not doing so good. I have the damn aim of a stormtrooper. He just dead. I think they had more. I think they need to survive. Oh, it's a draw. Okay. I can't remember how this game works. <laughs> you know, it's fine. We'll just draw. It's fine. It's fine. What, three turns? Also, I think with a whole bunch of stars in the animation, it takes longer now. Ah, I hate everything. <laughs> I mean, at least we lasted longer than the last time. For what it's worth. Why is it always that one? Why is it that one? Oh my goodness. Almost there, I know. We're so close, yet so far away with all these stupid star moving animations. Like, help us, please. Oh, Mario Party Gods, please help us. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. At least he doesn't have any money. At least he doesn't have any money to buy a star. Which would have slowed the game down a lot more. <laughs> oh, 
goodness. Alright, Luigi. Shoddy has a map of bottom jeans, boots with the fur. The whole club was looking at her. She hit the floor, she hit the floor. Next thing you know. Uh Sure. We'll, we'll set up our little little payment road again. And boom shakalaka. I think I'm landing on that, actually. Yeah, sure. I don't have enough money for the star either. <laughs> but I mean it's fine. Cursed mushroom capsule. Hi, I don't have any money. I'll come back later, I'm sure. Yeah! Now I got enough money. Now I have enough. Hooray! I did it. Give me money. Take all of it. Give me money. I'll take some more. Give me money. I'll be full of all of this money here in my pocket. Uh, I think this was like one of the first ones we played. Rumble Fumble, yeah. Oh. Uh, no. No. Yeah, okay. Okay. Nope. One. Finish! Oh, I did it! Look at me go! Yeah. <laughs> Rumble patterns, am I right? Hello, Wes! Hello, hello! Welcome in! Hope you're having a good day! Haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing? Hopefully everything is okay. I miss hidden block stars. I know, Jared, I know. We have two turns left of this. Of the beginning of the torture. Because this is only the first pour we're doing in My Prey 5. We got six more after this. Did she just get a Wiggler? I think Wiggler is essentially a magic lamp. They come back in DS with a twist. Gotcha. Gotcha. I know in Super Mario Party, using a hidden block card, or I think in, Su is it in Super Stars as well? I can't remember. Uh, using like a hidden block card on yourself, there you spin a wheel and if it lands on like the little sliver you get, you get a star. But other than that, you just get like coins or something, I think. Ah, you, get, you can get his daughter and lose it. Lose a star. Gotcha. Now that's like, oh man. At least it's not like getting like a skeleton key from a hidden block, like three. Because like three, you can either get a star, coins, or an item. And like nine times out of ten, that item is a skeleton key. I mean, you can get like keys, magic lamps, rare items from three. Uh, well, there goes my star. There goes my stars. Still from, like, Mario. You don't like Mario, right? Pete, what? Okay. <gasps> what are these decisions they're making? What is going on? Big Boss Vegito, hello, hello. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Again, the Vegito confuses me, because that is all because Vegito909 is my husband's username, so it confuses me now. <laughs> but hello. Uh, again, I'm confused. These are hard AI we're talking about here. Uh uh No. <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> No more piranha plant. I don't want it. Uh, no one's landed on a Bowser space at all, which is kind of impressive because I, I I think that's like the only Bowser space ever, and like no one really goes that way. Uh, hold on. Uh, one, two, three. okay, DK. Yeah, let's go, DK. Hi, DK. Again. No, oh, never mind. Yeah. Why is DK delegated to a space? It's ridiculous. Who decided this? DK was fine as a playable character. I'm glad he's back as a playable character. But, like, it's ridiculous. Big boss, if it's easier? Alright, gotcha. Oh. Wow, you're really throwing me a bone there, DK. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. He rolled the one so I didn't have to. 
<laughs> Thank you, DK. <laughs> You're so nice. Don't be a stranger, I won't. If, if DK just rolls ones for me so I don't have to, that, that's fantastic. Something we haven't played yet, which is ground pound down. All right, Will Flower, just, just mash. Roll higher than me, rolls a one. There's no way you can mess this up, none. Did you be live in tomorrow? Nice. Nice, that's awesome. Oh! Oh! That one kind of gets tough for a little bit. I think the last time I had the controller on the floor and it messed up my elbow and that one was a little tough on my wrist. Ooh. Hello, Sifu! Hello, hello! Welcome in! Hope you're having a good day! A fun flower. A fun flower? Last turn! Finally! Gold, my dad! Nice! Nice! Well, I hope you have a lot of fun at the event. Because I've always wanted to go to a live event and like I see clips like all the time and it looks like it's so much fun. Oh, jeez! But, if she wants to take my star, she has to wager a star. So... Mm hmm Last turn! Woo! Ah! What do we got? Bound of music. Is this the one where there's like a whole, a whole bunch of invisible- No! Like it when you duel when landing on the same space. I managed to bring in the last turn. All right, okay, give me one second. I'm gonna put it to a BRB. We're gonna play the jams, and uh, I'm gonna try to fix it. Okay, let me be. Okay. Oh, we're John Cena. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, I got it pulled up back here. <laughs> I got it pulled up back here. God, the, the craziness. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was insane. <gasps> oh, goodness. If you need instructions on how to get to the last turn, check out the enclosed instructions booklet. That is so sad. <laughs> Is it though? It's Mario Party 5. 
Question of the day, why? You're perfect timing. <laughs> oh, you actually fixed it? I just reset because it was a disc read error. Like part of me wonders if it just doesn't like um, landing on the same space initiating a duel because that's how it broke the last time. I want to say because it was, I think Mario and Peach landed on the same space at one point and um, initiated a duel and then we had the disc read error, but then I couldn't get the disc to read because the game just crashed like twice in a row. So, uh, Tessa the Builder, can she fix it? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, imagine. Imagine, man. That was insane. Absolutely insane. I can't believe, like, any of that even happened. Literally the last turn in a discreet error. <laughs> Literally the last turn. I don't know why, but it seemed appropriate. You know what? That's fair. <laughs> that is absolutely fair. Okay. Please, I just want this to be over. I want this to be over. <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh... Sure, because why not? I'm going last. This is fine. This is perfectly fine. I don't even know what is happening anymore. This is so dumb with this game, she's not even on screen anymore! Yeah. <laughs> I- I've left. Gimme this. Gimme this, please. It's the least I- it's the least I deserve! <laughs> uh. Cast shades! Boom! We got the shades. We got the shades. Didn't want John Cena anymore. <laughs> But that's fine. That's fine. We had a... Oh, it blew up! I lose everything. That's fine. I'm the one that put it there. <laughs> I guess that's fair. Thank you for the hydrant and the posture check. Thank you, thank you. <sighs> okay. 50, 50, do what you want. Do what you want. Yay! <laughs> wow, what a way to like end the board. We're we're doing this right. We are doing this correctly. Oh, he almost had me for a second. I saw that. But no, but I'm like, haha, lol, no. Ouch. Like, hurt my shoulder doing that, too. Give me all of the money. Give me all the money. Like, I needed it to begin with, with how many stars I have. Because, uh, goodness. <laughs> okay, please. Please. Imagine if it crashed right here. I thought I heard weird noises coming from my Wii and I panicked. <laughs> oh, hey, it's the first time we're ever seeing the results screen in Mario Party 5. Hey, number of stars, I have 13. How many coins? I have 52. Bonuses, uh, bonus stars are the same as always. Um, Minigame, coin, and happening. Uh, minigame. It's me, for whatever reason. <laughs> you need to see a doctor for where noise is coming from that. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you will finish Mario Party 5. You better finish after you. After all you both. <laughs> I know. <laughs> coin star. I think it's me, because I think I had over 200. Yeah. And then happening, I don't know actually. I mean, I hit quite a few. 
Oh, two happening stars. Not me. None of them are me. Oh, the game's winner is... Imagine if the computers went after me to steal stars instead of everyone else. Imagine. I don't think I would have won in that case. I am the dream star. Hooray. I did it. 50 turns. Look at me go. 412. Damn. Crushed it. <laughs> I do. Nice. Whoa. Nice. Uh, number of capsule spaces, 23, like, a bunch of them. I do nice. Yeah. Happening, I had four. Oh, I was one off. <laughs> oh, man. We want to give my prey five. whoop de fucking do That's exactly how I feel. No Bowser. Lots of DK, though. Uh, yeah. We did it. Oh, I have to continue. Oh, little graphs. Look at that. And we have coins. Like, look. Okay, do you see those, like, couple of dips there? Those are, like, my, my piranha plants that I've landed on. I think they're a little bit more devastating in, like, 6 and 7 because they're specific spaces and whosoever space it, it is that you land on, they get the, that coin. They get those coins. Oh my goodness, I can grammar. <laughs> Like, say, if I landed on, like, Luigi's piranha plant space, half of my coins go to Luigi, and that can be extremely devastating. Only six more boards to go! Oh, man. Oh, God. What is it with me and game crashes right at the end? Because this has happened twice right at the end. Because Paper Mario did it to me. And now Mario Party 5 did it to me. Oh, goodness. But that'll be it for today. Um, I'm thinking, since I didn't do a TTYD today, I'll just do it on Monday. Uh, and then, because Mondays are normally Xenoblade days, but I think I'll just push TTYD to, to Monday. Um, and then Tuesdays and Thursdays will be Mario Party 5. Uh, great. Uh, Wednesdays and Fridays are the TTYD days. Uh, let us see who is. Ooh, Max is. I think Max seems to just be doing three heart runs of like literally all the Zeldas. Monday party party, and uh, he's on to Wind Waker because I. Uh, I know he did Ocarina and he did Majora's Mask. Uh, now it looks like he's on to Wind Waker Three Hearts, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna go raid Max. Um... Uh, what should the raid message be? Hmm... I was thinking something like, The Torture Begins, or like, A Last Turn Game Crash, or something. Or like, Disc Read Error? <laughs> Don't die! <laughs> uh... Maybe something- I don't know. Uh, don't die like Mario Party 4! That's actually really good. That That's actually good. We'll... We'll, we'll, I'll, we'll do that one. There we go. Don't die, like, Mario Party 5. I think I put two apostrophes. It's fine. Whatever. I don't care anymore. We finished a board of Mario Party 5 for what it's worth. It's going to snow in, in summer now. <laughs> let's just there, let's go. Yeah, we're gonna go raid Master Max 165. Uh, doing a three heart run of Wind Waker right now. So, uh, time to sleep. Sleep like hell. Well, good night, Jared. Good night, Jared. Uh, what, miss? Uh, we finally completed a board of Mario Party 5 after 
<laughs> a discreet error happened on the last turn. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, so yeah, uh, Monday will be TTYD, just to make up for it uh, not happening today. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, we'll try to continue Mario Party 5, we'll see how that goes. And Wednesdays and Fridays are TTYD, and we'll try to get Xenoblade 2 back on track. So, uh, I did win! I did win, by like, a lot. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for coming out hanging out, and we will see you next time! Pair of jeans, a shirt or two. We didn't pack as if we weren't oh, going the fuck back. Out. It doesn't matter if it's true. I've got a feeling love will give us what we like. The world is waiting up. The world is waiting half a step beyond our door. Yeah. And if it's not enough, I wanna see the stuff the world. Just got in store. Oh, I wanna take it all in. I'm falling. The cityscape by night. Wanna catch in my photos. Where you go? Every corner twice as bright. There'll be my treasures forever. When I can hold you tight, I'll see the Stockholm lights. The Stockholm lights. The Stockholm lights. Tomorrow feels a year away